brother sam this is my brother sam hi i'm nate's brother sam hey how is everybody wow you made my head huge we're on a hype train people are hyped yeah i'm gonna uh i might get this thing installed it's installing right now so you can put me in your so you can put me in your chair to get rid of the my wall oh we'll see uh, I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> what's Nate? Well, okay, <laughs> welcome to Trailer Boys. Hey. I'm Nate Brown. No, I'm Sam Brown. You're Nate. What is this show normally? Uh, the show is. What do you mean? It's still like, what it's normally called. I ask you to explain to people that don't know that you know. I always explain what my show is at the start of my shows. Yeah. Yeah. You know. We that's what I meant. We sometimes remember to do that. Um, it's usually Sam's job, and you've done okay. the show now. I think you've been the most co-hostess. So I think. Do you want to give? Have a I co-hosted out? before? Well, I've been yeah, on yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. I was like special yeah. guest curator or something. Sure, yeah, sure, but that's like co-hosting. Sure, the show. buddy. I guess you haven't done the intro yet, so I want to say hello to okay. Gooby Wood. This is, uh, you know, our people out there. I do got to give a quick shout out too because people are going nuts in chat. Where. We're, I'll be right back, Nate. Okay. Bye, Timmy. Uh, Dead Jester, thanks you for the subscription. Uh, Speed Punk with the resubscription. Slim Katie with the resubscription. Res Dodge with the resubscription. Zombie Bender with the resubscription. Deja with the cheered bits. Sleeve McDickle with the resubscription. Reflopian Tubes dropped some memes in the chat, gifting five tier subs. Cheddar Goblin out there. Dropping 1,050 bits, Deja cheering more bits, and Alex Mobes cheering 100 bits. Thank you guys very much for this hype train. I don't think we've ever, I don't know if we've had a level four hype train on Trailer Boys before, so this must be the Timmy effect. Is that what I keep hearing about? I can't hear Timmy. Oh no. <laughs> if that's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. Um, I didn't even. Um, I forgot to promote this. I just got busy. I like was okay. So my daughter's having a friend over tomorrow. We have. She hasn't had a friend over in a long time because of things. So uh, COVIDs, and so we're trying to clean the house. So I, and my house is filthy, uh, because COVID. And I was cleaning it, and then I went to the North Man, and then I got my daughter, and then we were cleaning it, and then we also watched Moon Knight and ate chicken, and then here we are. So. Wow, there you go. Yeah, so anyways, I didn't promote. Um, it's fine. We don't do promote. I have the, the first download rule... a picture of the green screen? How did you guys do it? Yeah, you can do that. That's what I use. But nobody can chroma see key, it. right, is what it's called? I should look oh, for chroma key green? Grimward, Doc McGr Grimward just dropped five memes in the chat. Thank you dropping very much. Dropping the memes? Doc McGrizzle, like, thank you for the uh, recent subscription. Meme dropping memer? Um, I will say this. So, in, in yes, honor of Timmy's um, co hosting, which is new, I was like, let me make uh, one of these crazy, you know, animated head things I do with the rotoscoping, the Joel Haver style. And I worked on it. I was just telling Timmy the story, and I was like, you know what? We're about to go live. I'll tell you in the chat. Save it for um, live. Save it for the stream. I, I I drew out like a bunch of keyframes, uh, like 20 keyframes for the video that we shot after self suck last night, just really quick. Mm -hmm. And then you pretty much what you do is you you take the video and export it into individual frames and it auto does it. And it's like, you know, like 5,000 separate frames. And then you do the keyframes and match it in and EB synth does it automatically. It's pretty nice. And uh, I accidentally renamed everything the wrong name and when i tried to go back it wasn't so 
I, I know I can do it, but we just fucking ran out of time. So, you know, we will have an animated scary Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> we have For a, next time? Yeah, yours will be For really something? scary. Yeah. I like I, that. I made your eyes really crazy. Um, but yeah. It's so hard to do. Um, I, I did tweak Timmy's audio, so he shouldn't be as loud. Am I too loud? I could turn it down. No, too, no, no, no. I, I got think. you on Or maybe it's here. just... I'm on that uh, headset my daughter gave me for Valentine's birthday, Christmas... My birthday. Nice. You sound clear. Birthday. Sound clear. Um, how, okay. Does this make Timmy an official Gooby boy? I don't know. I think that's voluntary. You uh, know? Why is Gooby? Why is it Goobies? <laughs> so... Because uh, now I need uh, to know this. If I'm here without Sam... Yeah, you know, I mean, because let's be honest. I mean, this is just part of a of a hostile takeover, and then uh, you know we're gonna have me on here all the time because people will be like, let's just have Timmy, and then eventually we'll replace you with one of my brothers, and so this is just kind of that's what's going on. <laughs> do you have Do you have someone a, said a time a is still pretty loud to me? Huh? Time, time. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm trying to turn you down, but I think you're time is maybe loud. Too loud. Um, um, that's just turning you down. Okay, I'll, I'll work on it. Um, replace Nate with the fat cat. That's an idea. Carlato. Carlato? Carlato love. Um, um well, let me see. So, here. Gooby is... Gooby. So the Gooby point system, which I know you know how the points work, but... Yeah, explain. let's just assume that. I, I mean, I sort of do. Okay. okay. So I have to no, put I this do. Over okay, I'm gonna turn down volume. Turn down volume. How's that sound? How's that sound? Turn down the volume. Turn down the volume. Do I sound better? Do I sound better? I think so. Yeah. Uh, Naya Mix is right. We're gonna have to show Timmy the Gooby Wood trailer. So, <laughs> so I'll give. And, and this is. I know we have a lot of uh, newer um, Gooby Wood people, Trailer Boys can fans. I, can watching I interrupt for one second? My camera's gonna turn off for a little bit. Okay, but then Why? it'll turn back on. Okay. All right. Can I talk while your camera's off? Yeah, absolutely, man. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, I just meant that uh, that's going to be happening. So. Okay. Um. Uh, so, I I don't even remember what the tra what the theme was. Does anyone remember what the Gooby theme was? Was it like, um, uh? Oh, hey. holy shit! Wow. Why is that thing there though? Will that go away? Um, no, but they used to put it up here, up in the sky. But oh, I this think is the, that's the thing you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, okay, that's when, when so you don't pay for it. I forget how you get rid of it. Um, don't worry. It's, I want it's people not... to be able to see my neck. <laughs> okay. How's that? There this is how oh, I was wow. going to start moving the camera like that was going to make a difference. Okay. Um, Wait, you, what do you want? <laughs> do you want to go? Do you want to? Do you want more? You want a bigger head? Is that what you're saying? I was trying to get rid of the thing. Oh, okay. But I you think... edit. You you actually edit your feed in in order to do that, huh? Yeah, I just dropped you down there. Although I don't mind, you know, it's a product we use. It's I use XSplit VCam as well. I just pay for it. Yeah. Um, Should I? Uh, my head's so big compared to yours. Should I change? That's fine. I'll make We're my gonna, head bigger. Let's go. Well, we have big heads. You have a big head. I have a big head. head. Sam's big head is big. Sam does have a big head as well. Zach yeah. and Darren don't have big heads. Well, they're tiny boys. They're way tiny big. boys. Welcome back to tiny boys. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> no, what you, did you do? You can't lean closer to the camera. It'll make your head even bigger. Oh, hey, dude, I move. I move so much. Is that a, is that bad? No. I move. I move in in and out to the dimensions. I. You know what? It's only bad if you're if you're uh, uh, self conscious about the size of your head. I don't give a shit. No, okay. I mean like I move like this a lot. Like, is that a problem? No, no, that's fine. Okay, cool. I want to say what up to, to the Raiders. This is good because we have new Raiders. Timmy doesn't know a lot of the lore behind Trailer Boys, and we do have new people in chat that are watching the show. So we're going to go back and give you a little lore recap. First of all, Sam is away, could make it tonight. So instead of doing the car scene that we talked about last week, uh, we're going to do a part two of martial arts because we had so many good martial arts trailers that we didn't get to. So 
while we set this up, we're gonna we're gonna um, watch some trailers and talk about lore. Um, I, I can't tell. Did chat figure out uh, what the theme was when we initially watched Gooby? Um, oh, Gooby's a movie. Gooby's a movie. So, so we had a point system, and I don't even remember the point system before. I think like everybody voted like one to five or something like that. It was it, it was a whole point system, and then we watched the trailer for Gooby. And um, I think there's a couple trailers. I'm not remember. I don't remember what the good one was. So we're just gonna watch like the official one. Oh, is it Dolls yeah. and Puppets? All right. So Dolls and Puppets was the theme. And so we watched this thing, and uh, it's super fucking weird. But I don't think it got as many points. So Sam was upset, and a friend of his submitted oh, the trailer. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I'm just getting stuff ready. It's I mean, okay. it's still it's early. Okay. okay. It's okay. It's still early. So I don't, I feel like I don't, I feel I should be quiet. Everyone in chat be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I had a good birthday. Um, thanks for the birthday wishes. Nart. Yeah. My mom mistyped and wrote Nart and now my whole family and Chad is calling me Nart. <laughs> um, I put a thing on Instagram of, of what a buddy of mine got me. And it was pretty much like he threw a bunch of like shit he could find, like was in, within arm's reach in his house and gave it to me all taped up. And <laughs> in the box, I just saw, I thought this was like a car cleaner or something. Uh, it's not going to show up with a green screen. It's a um, firework <laughs> called Benz. And it's got a picture of a Mercedes Benz on the cover. How funny is that? Um, so yeah, I have a firework, but, um, yeah, here's another thing I got for my birthday to be jealous chat. It is four out of six pens. <laughs> Look at that, Timmy. Are you still muted? You have my full attention. I have, I got Except four. For the deficit caused by my disorder. What now? Four out of six pens for my birthday. You, we got what? I got Wait, four. You got of that. Six pens. You got that package of pens for your birthday. How dope is that? Yeah, but how come some are missing? Because the person that gave them to me needed them. <laughs> is it your mom? Oh, I was just showing off like some of the weird shit I got. I got a firework and um. Anyway, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a green because it looks like you reach into some sort of jelly, some some gelatin void, and pull subpar birthday gifts out of it come on you're familiar with the void we all know about the void inside that's what i call my butthole <laughs> um so timmy we were our Ooh, theme me. was mm -hmm. yes exactly dolls and puppets and somebody submitted this trailer for a movie called gooby and i don't think sam liked how chat voted for it he didn't like how the point shaped out because a friend of and this is my bias towards it sam will say no it's just a better one but um it so he he decided to change the whole point system to the gooby point system and it's based on this trailer and so that's the gooby point system and then now chat is called gooby wood mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's kind of like when, when things changed here. Let's see. Well, like uh, Hollywood uh, is a, like a big thing for movies. Do you know that? Ho Hollywood. Okay. Okay. I I see how there's a there's a line. Okay. A family movie about a boy with a very active imagination to whom something remarkable is about to happen. He's God. about to meet the most no. ferocious monster of all. I've seen this one. The, the face. <laughs> Gooby? You guessed it. Wait, did you guys talk about the film festivals that they show? Oh no. Is this a real trailer or is this a fake trailer? Who's the best? The heck was that? I don't even know if this is the real trailer. Still the one someone made. I'll know at the end. Real just because of something I saw. Sometimes you just have to let it rip. For every childhood, there is one time, one adventure, 
and one friend who makes it all come true. For Willie, that time is now, and that friend is Gooby. I love you, Willie. The voiceover part at the end is like what sold a Sam on it. section of candy that looks just like me. And Chad here is talking over. So is the trailer volume okay Gooby. for Chad? Because everyone really needs a Can you guys friend. hear us in the trailer? Well, so was that the real trailer? Yeah, I think so. Let me play the very end again. They're saying yes. Whatever Gooby, question I asked. Because Look. everybody needs a friend. The volume is fine, know. they said. Is paintball in chat? They said the know. volume is fine. Okay. The volume is fine. Okay, so in the beginning they said so official selection, the Los Angeles Family Film Festival. It's like they almost wanted to make the word family smaller. You yeah. know, so that you didn't notice. But so so that was Gooby and that but was such a big hit. I, I feel like that wasn't the right trailer because like, you know, we're not gonna find we're not gonna do it again. But like in the other Gooby trailer, um like this one was like there's one friend for one kid. Yeah. But I feel like in the other trailer there was something more ridiculous. Oh. There's a better see Panwall said there's a better trailer. Okay. Let me all right. Let me try one more. <laughs> because we are in the Wayback Machine. And Sam's then we're not here, then so we're the gonna watch a uh, martial arts movie trailer. Almost. Do we even we, I have to show did you? Did we something. even explain that? Did, yeah. we, did we even explain what's happening with that? Okay. I'm just gonna skip to the end. Looks just like me! I think it's the same trailer. Hold on. That's the same trailer. Google. Well, it's eight because seconds everybody longer. needs a friend. Yeah, I don't know. There's there's a bunch of them, but one of them just has such a ridiculous thing. So um, that um, that was Gooby, uh, and that kind of changed. It was. <laughs> yeah, let's just watch Gooby. It's tonight's theme is Gooby. Oh um, God. <laughs> well, yeah, have you guys done one of like? Uh, Weird friend or imaginary friend because there's Gooby, there's Harry and the Hendersons, there's Mac and me. Obviously, you could do ET. You could do that one um, robot in the family. Uh, We've watched you know, Robot in the Family a yeah, lot. That's, Fucking you, know, you know, my friend Jordan Cooper, you know, him, he and his yeah. buddies were obsessed with Robot in the Family. Yeah. Because, well, because it's terrible. Um, so, Timmy, do you have the list pulled up? Mm -hmm. DOS list. Um, sorry, chat. Uh, we don't have any, um, upcoming, we don't have any, uh, uh, coming attractions because that's the same thing. What's a coming um, attractions? What happens then? Sam will find like movies he wants to see that are not coming out yet. It usually takes us like an hour to get to the real start of the show. Right. <laughs> but just um, giving an intro for it. Yeah. I wanted to show you, I'm, um, okay. I want to show you this. Huh? So you, this is kind of a continuation. This will be a good segue into the meat of the show, which before we get into it, I'll say thank you everyone for showing up. Appreciate it. Appreciate the birthday wishes. Thank you very much. Yes. Happy if, birthday yesterday. If you haven't, uh, go ahead. I was just going to introduce the show. Mm -hmm. What were you going to say? No, no, that's it. I was going to say happy no. birthday. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. We're all April birthdays. So we're, we're good people. Fuck yeah. Well, you're not an Aries though. No, yeah, you're you're uh you're a Taurus on the cusp of Aries. Yeah. Did you know that? Um, I didn't. Um, oh, Abby Sally's leaving. Goodbye, Abby Sally. Abby Sally's pretty funny. Thanks, thanks, thanks for having me. Yeah, we we started late. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and that's my fault. No, it's I not. mean, you really, it's technically my kid's fault for you being know, up. It's usually, Do you guys want me? I, I'll give them her email. I'll give them her phone number. You guys can text her tomorrow. Don't do give that. Shit. No, that'd no, be no, awful. Do that'd, that. be, th that'd be the worst. <laughs> you know what that means? That would mean I have to get her another phone number. <laughs> yeah. um, Anyways, you uh, want well, to show me something? No, no, no. Just saying for people who haven't seen the show before, what we do is we watch trailers together, us and Timmy, and then we vote on them. Pretty much the voting is. It's just pretty much like, did you like the trailer? Or would you see the movie? Not like, oh, the movie, the trailer sucks, but the movie's great. We're not voting on the movie. We're, yeah, voting we're not on voting on if the movie's good. We're voting on if the trailer's good. And if it makes you want to see the movie, whether that means does the movie look crazy? Does the movie look like normal good levels? Or does it look like, oh my God, I have to see this train wreck? Like any, if it in any way makes you want to see the movie, that's what we're looking for, right? 
Yeah. Or if you're yeah. like, you're just appreciate the trailer. Like it's yes or no that we don't, we, you know, with the gooby points, you know, we don't mean that's hate. what I'm saying, but I mean, no, no, yeah, there's just, uh, but I was just, uh, extrapolating on the point that you don't yeah. judge like, you it know, versus like how you feel about the movie. Exactly. Um, and so the trailers come to us from you guys and we have a system and the trailers you can submit to misery loves us. Boom, boom, boom. It's, you know, pretty easy to fill it out. So right now, because the way our spreadsheet works, everything that's coming in now is technically for next week's theme cars. So just make sure you put in the context that it's martial arts theme. So we know to watch it today and not next right. week. So things, things get weird. Um, but yeah, and, and we do points and it's fun and people win. And we just started season three. Um, the leaderboard has not been updated. It's still kind of dumping out. We you know have to do some behind the scenes changes. Um, so if I even hit the leaderboard button now, you'll see the season two and last week's season three. I'm not explaining it slower to you, Shringles. You already know how to do it. Anyway. Oh, God. It's a, hey. we watch trailers. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. So when I'm looking at the list, it's this light yellow kind of color, the, the stuff we can watch, right? Yeah. Um, well, all right. So if there's you no go, numbers and they're not pink, so that means I can show it. Yeah, yeah, if, if there's okay. no numbers. So the old trailers, martial arts, start at 1126, online 1126. Mm -hmm. And again, that's, we yeah, get a lot of yep, okay. Yeah, and then, and then again, after, um, after 1339. You'll start to see some of those. No, no, not 1339. Uh, 13, 1490. Hold on. 1492 is when the Kung Fu trailers start again. Okay. What were you saying? No, you're right. No, you're right. Yep. Say it again. Say it again. You're right. You're correct. You're correct. Love, love hearing that. <laughs> Do you not get this affirmation in the not rest for the of the uh, Not from your brother and his fucking friends. <laughs> I'm here Kidding for me? you. I'm here to Thank support you. you. Um, so, his friends, I mean my friends. Our friends. You I are one remind, of our friends. I want to remind you of the drama, Timmy, of the martial arts theme that we did together. Because yeah. you were also Boo close to that. Boobies. Okay. Booby, booby. Everyone. Wait, did anyone make this joke? Boobies. Because everyone needs a friend. No, that's a first. Dude, nobody made a fucking boob joke from that? It's right there. It's one letter off. Booby, because Booby everybody would. needs a friend. But yeah. <laughs> Booby, because everyone needs a friend. But why not have two? Wanja, any which way but boobs. Any which way but boobs. I love that. Well, that's great. Uh, wait, why would you go any which way but boobs? Because everybody likes boobs. Wait, well, he's right. Timmy's got a point, Flanja. I mean, when I was in college, the first time one of my friends was like we were like hanging out and he was kind of coming out like at that moment realizing he was gay kind of talking through it <laughs> he's like i don't know I, I like boobs i go everybody likes boobs you're gay <laughs> he's like oh, all right <laughs> <laughs> true you got me there that's fine I mean, you know it's a good i feel like it's a good point um so timmy what happened yes. with that drama is that yes. grimward who subscribed who submitted that trailer found another one and right. we're going to start off the theme with that just to revisit because we love that trailer personally watching this again i didn't like it as much but it gave it gives it gives a lot more context it's it's more interesting it had a lot um, of energy oh this trailer is different yes different okay. cthulhu cthulhu has to resubscribe thank you principal principal roles has gifted a tier one sub to resident stevel wow Great principal roles. thank you um let's say uh, uh frank halley resubscribed to m push 88 brain damp bane bane damage bane damage i see that one bane damage says i'm here for timmy gfy doll lickers well i don't uh, see the uh how come i'm not am i looking at the wrong thing to see the messages oh i think i got it now there we go no that's not it either anyways i'll figure it out that's okay. your job. You're doing that. So yeah, let's watch. Uh, th let's watch trailer. Look at it. We're only 25 minutes in, so already it's better than when Sam's here. Yeah, we're a half hour ahead of the game. <laughs> okay, ready. Mm-hmm. I mean, everyone knows what this one is, and we get like this. And you own this on DVD. 
No, I own it on Blu-ray because I'm a fucking adult. I think I just hurt my brain. My eyes are open to my head so hard. You crash the action barrier with Enter the Dragon. Comes you know what I say? New dimension me, in I say, Black Belt I, my comeback for that is close that. Close that. I say, As I just rolled my eyes so hard to get myself a concussion. And the Shaw Brothers, Masters of the Kung Fu, the same, the same join thing. forces yeah. to create the first martial arts. Sorry, you have this on VHS tape? I have it. What I do is it's just I have every frame very small tattooed on your ass and I come over and I just like slow, I, I make you put your ass in my face and I slowly move my eyes from left to right. Have you actually watched this movie though? Not yet. I really want That's, to. So I would say like in the first time we saw the trailer, I thought the horror Seven is Brothers were the vampires. Close. No, but they're watching the, this trailer. The, yeah. yeah. Because here's the deal with this trailer, and I mean, since a lot of us have seen it already, I'll just talk over it. But That's you must okay, understand. Right? You haven't seen so, this one. That they okay. haven't. This is completely wait. different. I'll just, I know the history of this film, them. so I just haven't watched it. Yet. And you too will be eternally damned. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Domino's Fleet. Yeah, we're not we're not voting on this. This is we're just catching Timmy up. Right. Uh, we, we have watched uh, it. I can't wait to watch this movie. Again. I'm gonna watch this. I'm gonna go. You guys have a good night. I'm gonna go. The legend of the seven golden See, vampires. Uh, again, my what Starring I miss Peter from Cushing this and Julie Edge. Is, there's a lot of Peter Cushing in this, which I Filmed think is cool. The but what I miss is in Hong Kong. where it's like seven golden and brothers and their sister. David you know, like yeah, that, that was the other trailer. The yeah. Belt Hall of Fame. Yeah, well, and they changed the name. So, so this is the uh, this is the British version of the trailer, I believe. I'll, I'll, we can we can talk about. This. You know, so the whole idea of what this movie is, you know these is that can die. Hammer Don't Horror you. was a big, big, big horror production company in the 60s and 70s. Shaw Brothers Shaw Scope was a big kung fu movie production company. I mean, most of these trailers we watched on the kung fu shows from them. So they came together. So when Hammer puts out a trailer, there are the horror people, so it says Legend of the Seven Gold Vampires. When Shosko puts out a trailer, their version of it, it's like the Seven Brothers, you know, because they're coming from the Kung Fu. You know what I mean? Martial arts, horror spectacular ever film. You just said what you said. Like I tell my my daughter sometimes, it's almost like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that's the that's the deal. There is that. Uh, that's probably why there's two trailers too. So I don't know what to concentrate it on. Concentrate on Timmy or the trailer. There's always one right answer to that. Um. <laughs> That well, so that's great. It's not nearly as good as the trailer that we uh, that got him in trouble, though. That's that's that was my thing. Sam gave it the same amount of points. He liked them both. Oh, he's such a fucking traitor. I know. Just a couple of titties, man. Yeah, we we could get in trouble for it, but I mean, one trailer was better than the other. It's not even because of the boobs. It was just like a little more exciting and weird, you know. Um, Should we start the official entries? Yeah, yeah, go for it. You, you got All something right, in mind? You've seen the Here's list? Here's one. This is back from the uh, original day of entry, the third. Right. So we're, 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 we are voting on these, let everyone yes, know. Yes, this is um, going to be a vote. But we may, we, may, um, we may rabbit hole more. I don't know. Right. Sam's not here, so it's like, you know, Sam kept the wheels on the car. Oh, Wheels but no, we can off. we can watch some trailers. I like playing the game because, especially when it's watching kung fu trailers. So should I start? Yeah. This have one's you, from what? Have you heard of this um, kung fu trailer that we may watch? I don't know if anyone submitted it. It's called Battleship. It's got some amazing like hand to hand. Um, so have you seen are, it, Timmy? Are you talking about the Rihanna movie? Yes, there was some good. Um, do you uh, guys? Is that a technical. thing you do on this? Is you always try and get Battleship in there? It's, I just Is it a people. common thread? Yes. I need people to watch Battleship and get on my level. Okay, here we go. Here's this. Ready? This is from Lobaka. No! Why? You don't Wait, tell I people who it's Lobaka? from. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no, it's a surprise. Oh, okay. Okay, because well, what if people don't like Lobaka? So, the surprise is that this one's not a surprise. It's okay. Lobaka doesn't have any enemies yet. He comes from beyond time. 
from beyond the outer limits of your imagination. He's the master of the flying guillotine. No word. And he's ready to blow your mind. No, that is not by me. With more nerve-shattering special effects than you have ever seen before. It's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the There's master of the fine guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. Yes. Oh, yes. shit. Sure. As the experience is the most oh, spectacular like adventures the mind can imagine. Oh, shit. <laughs> The master of the flying guillotine. Guillotine. Yeah, that's a that's weird. Uh, so there's plenty of good voiceover narration for trailers, okay? But that one, like that guy, fucking sells it. Warriors <laughs> from across the universe. What else does he say? The most amazing special effects you've ever Mind seen, blowing. and then it's like Mind a guy blowing. with long arms. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just incredible. Um, I am planning to watch that very soon. It is right now, for anyone who wants to, it's free on Tubi, which just means it's with ads. But uh, my friend Emmett and I were talking about, uh, shout out to Emmett Montgomery, Seattle comedian, fucking amazing dude. We were talking about Kung Fu movies a couple of nights ago because I had just seen Everything Everywhere All at Once, which is pretty much, uh, it's got a lot of Kung Fu in it. Anyways... So we were talking about Kung Fu movies, and he showed me that trailer. I was like, I need to watch this soon. So He showed yeah. you this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, and then um, Duel to the Death, which I, I didn't see submitted, but anyways. Uh, anyways, I would, say, I would give that... So what points do we do when there's only two hosts? Do I still get two points, or do I do three now? I still get two points. All right, I would give that one two. It's a, I think it's a great trailer. I'm going to say, like... Um, it's it's one of those ones like when I was in high school, like someone would give me like a VHS tape and we watch it, and be like this is the shit, um, and it's so like sh- like pulpy, you know, it's like pulp mm-hmm. kung fu, um, yeah. and I feel it's it's very baseline, you know. So I'm not like nah, but I'm not like yes. So for me, right. that's a one point. There's just so it's- much crazy shit in it though, but I mean, chat really liked it. Chat yeah, I, mean, I think it's great. Points. I mean, dude, it's 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 like. I haven't seen the movie yet. A lot this of people is, like the movie, but again, this is not about the movie. So yeah, that trailer this, is like makes whatever that it makes you think this this is gonna be a movie that's just like insane with people like sci fi kung fu almost, you know? Like I don't know, it gets me excited to watch it. Do um do <laughs> do uh words. Um I mean, I I would say, for me this is like one of those things where I'm kind of on the bubble where like, if this was shown later in the show, I may have, I may, I would have given it more points, you know, but it's so early. I'm not sure. Like for Did me we right blow now, our silliness load, we've Did done that. No, bro. Flopium tubes, memeing up all the deuces, deuce in a meme to everybody um, wow a sparrow looks uh, up i didn't even see that this is uh, this is a name uh roflopian tubes gifted a sub to shark garfunkel Ooh. <laughs> that's listen we see a lot of good handles in here because a lot of our fans are clever that is a fucking great handle um but yeah, don't you I'm agree a, with me you're yeah, yeah no 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 i, okay, I so mean you're gonna it. give I just... the trailer one point how many points do you give shark garfunkel's name Oh, that's a ten point. That's a ten point name. See? Um, so hey, look, we already finished the night. Shark Garfunkel won. Two, See, Sam, three. we got the shit done in thirty-five minutes. <laughs> uh, that's six points total, and that is going to Lobaka. You know how to Wait, add those? I thought you only gave it one point. Now you're changing it to two. No, Chat gave it three points. Oh, Chat has three points. You and I each have two. Yes, but I only gave it one. So between right. us, it's so three. It's- Chat. 
Chad could give four points, but oh. they have to. It has to be unanimous. All right, Chad's, cool. Chad's only given four points like once, I think. Okay. Twice, maybe. You need to know the line for that to put the points in, or I guess it'd be confusing because it'd be way up in the two weeks ago thing. Well, I'm sure. I mean, if you see where it is, with what I'm saying, don't move off of where you are because you can just choose it on the drop down. I should just put the points in right now. Yeah, yeah, you can put the points in yourself. Six points. Should I mark like the date or something on it? Should I change the date in here? Yes, I should change the date so that it goes to the bottom of the list, right? No, 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 no. Um, okay. That's that's a good that's a good point, Timmy. Um, see in. Uh, Sorry for this chat. We should have figured this out earlier. So, you know, in the column where we mark the trailers, like just to bookmark them, we put like a yeah. letter in to the right mm-hmm. of that uh, column H. Just Editor write context. Yeah, just write uh, number two. Just put a number two in there so we know it's the second week. Okay, it's right down here. Two done. God, I'm fucking awesome at this. Right? I'm I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, all right, you got right. one. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. I still I had this, one. Man. Um. Okay, we had a few. I'm I'm excited because there was a bunch I didn't get to that like um psyched that we actually get to watch now so soon after because a lot of times it's like weeks weeks later and you kind of forget mm-hmm. it where I'm like we should do next week the same thing. Um. All right. We don't say the name of who it is because if right, it's, it's points based. Not just one, no! or two, or three, or four, five deadly martial arts commandos. Deadly martial arts five. He has the leadership. He has the strength. He has the speed. Leadership, strength, speed. Has the skill. Is it part one of them? Courage? Leadership. She has titties. Has everything else. <laughs> We're still good. We're still good. What I need is a woman who can... We got real close to Areola there. I thought it was coming out time. when she turned. <laughs> Force 5, starring five of the world's top-ranking martial arts experts. How is it possible that five of the world's top-ranking martial arts experts are Yeah, in this movie, not to mention the time, international karate other grand champion, time, Richard Norton, like... world's foremost martial arts weapons expert, weapons Benny the Jet Yurkides, oh, world's he's... full contact welterweight he's champion, <laughs> Sonny Barnes. California heavyweight karate champion, Master Bong Suhan, eighth degree black belt. Oh, that guy, I thought it was the white guy. Huntington, Ron Hayden, in Force 5. Kevin Reed, leader of Worldwide Church, with a very large following of dedicated young people. I thought it was more of a cult. <laughs> Young disciples are programmed to feed one man's empire of evil. Have you signed over your trust fund? How do you know about that? How many men do you need? Five very special people. Their assignment, rescue the programmed youth and overcome the island stronghold. I love how the enemy is like, oh, like yeah. number they are five. In force, they are an army. In number they are five. In force, they are an army. Wow. Well, that looks great. <laughs> Um, um, so, okay, he's got the leadership, he's got the strength, he's got the speed, he's got the skills, and she has everything else. <laughs> There's a lot. She's probably the most talented one of the group then, right? Right. But really, all they insinuate <laughs> is that she's got, like, a silky nightgown and nice legs. Yeah. That's kind of all they're saying. So. There's a lot in everything else. But then she kicks some ass, though, so that's yeah. good, you know? 
Um, but yeah, so you're saying like, how do they get five of the world's top five martial artists? Well, no, you know how many movies like asking. this in a four year period that were like made by like dudes who were good at karate or whatever and said like one of the top karate things. There's like 15 films like this, like from that time period. You know what yeah. I mean? Well, and I was saying like, it's like, okay, when you count them up, it's like, okay, so there's, uh, uh, 406 martial art expert, you know, like 1981, so, this came out. Well, yeah. initially I was going to be like, how are, when they said that line, like five of the world's top martial arts experts, I was going to be like, so five of however many world's martial arts experts are like Caucasian American dudes. But then I was like, oh, oh, yeah, one's a lady, one's a black dude. One guy looked like German or something. Well, Benny the Jet or Kida is, uh, I believe he's Hispanic, but he's, he's been, he's did, he, he fought Jackie Chan very martial famously. Martial um, arts yeah, I want to find, I want to find him because... Is he? I can, I can tell let me, you more let about me him. ask you this. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Let's let's okay. try and suss well, it out. Well, I knew a little bit about him, but okay. Well, uh, let oh, see. he's uh, Richard Norton, world's foremost martial arts weapons expert. He's you know, right you know this guy. About Richard Norton. No. This psychopath. If there's if if there's a clip of uh, Steven Seagal pooping himself, yeah, let's admit it. Sure. Gross point blank. Thank you. Felonious drunk. That's what I was looking for. I was I was looking for a picture of me like, is this like the rival assassin that comes at him at his um, high school mm. reunion uh, in gross point blank? And felonious drunk got there before I even brought it up. So good for you, felonious drunk. Anyways, well, here's the deal. So there's another movie that I have. It's a South African karate film from like 79, 80, 81. That's when a lot of these were made. Uh, it's called Killer Be Killed, and it's about uh, a Nazi who's on the run, who's like been in hiding for forty years or whatever, and a guy who was uh, part of the Japanese forces from World War Two. They're both in hiding in South Africa. They decide to have a tournament, and they hire, they bring together a bunch of karate experts. Okay, one of these guys, keep in mind, is from Japan. Almost everyone they get is white. Like, there's, like, a black guy and an Asian guy and then, like, 50 white guys. And so there's a lot of movies like this, like, okay, sure. <laughs> you know? Meanwhile, yeah. the Shaw Brothers were making, you know, a bunch of period history kung fu movies every two weeks full of amazing, you know, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, whatever, uh, martial artists. So it's like, yeah, when they say that and they show a bunch of, like, you know, greased-up white guys, it's like, nah, okay. <laughs> Everyone loves greased-up white guys. Yeah, who for, these, for these greased up white guys, what would you give this trailer, Force 5? It's a great trailer. I mean, it really made me want to see it, so I'm going to have to go two again, you know? Um, Chat gave it two points. Yeah. So the difference in the other one and this one for me is like the other one is like real, like pulpy shit, like real. that I, I consider that like a real martial arts movie. And first this one. one, yeah, the first yeah. one. Mm-hmm. So the difference, just explaining like my thought process on this, this I'm giving two points because of like the kind of ridiculous nature, you know, and the title and stuff. It just seems like so stupid. But then the real hook for me is is the whole cult angle where yeah. she asks if she signed her um, uh, trust fund over to the cult and stuff. That's that that gives me the two points. So. Two, four, six uh, from chat, uh, or two from chat, so that's another six points. Um, and this two one for me. is two for me. going to Rex Bosworth, champion of man. Ooh. Congratulations, sir. Uh, and I'll make sure to put a comment to say two on there. And I'm going to just highlight it a different color to be funsy. So we know. From a different time. Um, you got something for us, Tim? Yeah, you, baby. Timmy? You can call me whatever. All right, so let's get into this century a little bit. Um, and then uh, I do have one point of pet entry uh, after we watch the trailer. What we haven't talked about is that I'm super into kung fu movies, and that's why I want to do this, and I have learned a lot about these things. You do take so it very seriously. Sam and I are, like, very uh, un- We want to see stupid shit. <laughs> I'm like, I want to see yeah. a fucking camera pulled back, people that know what the goddamn hell fuck they're doing, fighting. That's what I want to see. Yeah. But also, yeah, you need to mix it with fun stuff. Like, Force 5, is that going to be the best choreographed martial arts fights I've ever seen? 
Absolutely not. But they've got a goofy, fun story. It looks like high energy, you know. But uh, similar to like Raw Force or Ninja Busters, like I said, so many movies from that around that time where a couple of dudes who knew each other from the karate circle would be like, "Let's get a movie together," you know. <laughs> That's what the, we'll just you know drive to. We'll do, get, a, get a couple cheap sets and look, make. Well, uh, our characters will drive to an island and kill somebody. That's like that's what it always is. So, anyways, here's this trailer, which is not about that. <laughs> <laughs> Dalam tradisi Minangkabau. Is that a real place? Setiap anak laki-laki suatu hari akan pergi meninggalkan tanah kelahiran mereka. It's the culture. It's uh but yeah, this is Indonesia. Cari is hidup. Nope. That's Thailand. Pengalaman hidup yang akan membuatnya menjadi I don't like the white sejati. subtitles. Yeah. Oh, they're laughing and having fun. Belum tentu itu berarti yang paling benar. Kembalilah, Nat. Right, we're almost halfway through the trailer and there has been not one person attacked physically. Yeah, I feel if they show too many happiness in the beginning of a trailer, you know it's not going to go well. Uh oh. Waiting for. Your comments get shoved back in your face by the fight scenes. Oh, I'm saying like, uh... Shut up and watch this. This is the good part. No, you we talked through it. Happening. No, we, we, we talked through the trailers. I know. It's just that you specifically said you wanted to see a fight scene, and then as soon as one started, you're like... Blah, 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 blah. I, I, can, I, I mean, I'm not missing any dialogue through the fight scenes. Um, I'm He's saying it took a long time. Fist. Took a long time yeah, to get to the punch up kind of story because, you know, this is at a time when they were trying to kind of. Uh, well, you know, this is a, this is a lot of different story where this is from a different country and they wanted to be taken seriously and they were, you know, they obviously put a lot of effort into this movie, so they kind of like wanted to put. Ooh, that was hard. Yeah, they wanted to put an emotional, real emotions in the trailer, you know. God damn it, Ivo Weiss is such a good fighter, man. He's so much fun to watch. Jesus. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh, I need to watch this again. It's been a while. Is Silat a person's name? or is that like No, a... that's the uh, that's the martial art. This is like the first Penchak Salat movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was rad. That felt very Jackie Chan. Yeah, definitely got some Jackie Chan in. Time Flex also said, remind me of Jackie Chan. Yeah, that Tony Jaw, who the star of Ong Bak, is even more Jackie Chan ish than this, but uh, yeah. Oh. That was hot. See, it got good. You just had no, to give it a little I, I time. I knew it would get good, but I'm saying you like. Get the pieces if, put in place. No, not for a fucking trailer. Get well, to the you fucking know, trailer thing, though, yeah, I know, but, I, but here's the thing. That wasn't even a three minute trailer, so it's not that bad. Right? And so, you don't have the time to, to spin yes, this whole do. family okay, thing. This was, this was made before the, the internet had completely ruined our minds yet. And so people did have three minutes of focus to give. And so, you know, 40, 50 seconds of like. Something like kind of setting up like the importance of this guy's journey, and then now it's just you know another minute and a half of him beating the living shit out of every everything that moves, you know. Um, hold on, I want to. There, there's this one part where I was like, Oh, this is dope when the guy is making the jump for the shipping container, and then yes, like it yeah. didn't look like he was gonna make it either, which was really funny to me, yeah. Um, like you knew he wasn't, but they still just show him hit. <laughs> yeah, just kicks him off of it. And I mean, I either missed it or we're not there yet. <laughs> Coming. Ooh, the guy had a pickaxe. See that up as a weapon. Yeah. Wait, used a kid as a weapon? I should have. Yeah. Should have thrown that kid. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> ah, it's so good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, Nate, you're getting good at it. Oh. <laughs> I 
this poor head? Um, I think that scene alone is enough to yeah. give two points for me. Uh, yeah, man. It's a great and, trailer. I uh, mean, and I'm happy to know that the movie is that for like an hour and a half but um that doesn't matter the but the trailer yeah that's a very good trailer you know and like i said it's a i guess it's what you could call a slow burn trailer but yeah um the last couple we watched were got right to the point so it's like well you know i um uh, here's the thing i feel this movie would probably be super fucking boring no um, it's not well hear me out you're saying the I, trailer makes it look boring okay no 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 i feel like the movie probably is boring as fuck as in, like, you know, like, John Wick 3. Like, I watched John Wick 3 in the theater with Sam. Mm-hmm. And it goes from, like, fighting scene to fighting scene to fighting scene. And we're like, dude, like, it had, like, fighting fatigue. And it got, like, yeah. this seems like some of these movies I've seen, you know, like, you know, once they do that long, boring story part of the beginning, then it's just straight fighting for the rest of the movie. And it's, like, the, right. the pace is weird. But for the trailer, mm-hmm. I wasn't into it. But... I'm going to give it two points for that one uh, shipping container. For the guy hitting the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I also give it two points just because there's so much fun action in it. Um, Ooh, so that's another six-point trailer. I just can't stop giving two points, man, because I like these things. Um, well, here's the deal with that. So, oh, shit, I didn't... Where was it? Uh, I can't find where it came from. I got to find it. Hold on. I keep getting thrown off because somebody submitted a movie for this that w- that they also submitted for like a bunch of other stuff. So I keep seeing it pop up. Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter! It's like no, but it just keeps confusing <laughs> me. It's like yeah, somebody the... just wants that somebody submits it for everything. Here it is. Okay, it's line uh, twelve twenty four. So that was from Pivotal Pete, and um, Pivotal Pete says the raids Gareth Evans' second movie. This is Gareth Evans' first movie. So, uh, Gareth Evans is a Welsh slash Indonesian guy who, uh, when he spent time in Indonesia, got really into the martial art Penchaxi lot and met Iko Uwai, the star of that trailer, uh, of the movie that the trailer's for. And uh, so they wanted to make a movie. Well, the first movie idea they came up with was way too big for their budget. So then they made Marintau, which is kind of a country bumpkin, comes to the city and gets in a bunch of fights. It was a big hit. So then he made The Raid, which... Have you seen The Raid, Nate? Yeah. Yeah, which is awesome. And uh, you're talking about constant fighting. Well, Gareth Evans kind of learned it here and then did it even better in The Raid, where The Raid is also constant action, but it never... There's just little moments in between so you don't get fatigued, right? And then after those two hits, they finally had the budget and the uh, reputation to make the movie they wanted to make. So they made The Raid 2, which is one of my favorite movies the raid 2 is like heat but with those action scenes in the middle which was the hallway one was that the first raid hallway what do you mean isn't there like one like what's that one scene that's just like are you talking about old boy no old boy had the hallway what are you talking about the the hand the the fight actually the hallway there's a hallway fight in the raid 2 that also involves a hammer and a baseball bat I might, I might be thinking of the raid 2 oh wait the raid is all hallways so that's you talk about when he fights a whole bunch of guys with a machete it's like one shot. It's like really long. Yeah, probably. I mean, the raid takes place solely within one apartment building, so there's lots of hallway fighting. Yeah, yeah, but there's one that's like just one long shot, like no cuts. It's just like, you know, going Yeah, the they whole do thing. that a lot, though, so I don't know. But I mean, also, Old Boy is that, too, so. But is he in cop gear when it's happening or, or not? I don't remember. Well, okay. That's okay. <laughs> I catch. No, well, here's release. another reason why, I like, like, so there's so much good action being made in Asia and Southeast Asia because when you say that it's like one long shot, thankfully that doesn't narrow it down because there's lots of movies being made where they can do that and they do do that. And instead, you know, in America, about 10, 15 years ago, with the the second Born movie, we started shooting every action movie like, like in your face, like shaking, so you can't even tell what the fuck's going on. And me, you know, and uh, the Paul Greengrass method, and then since then it's been, you know, a struggle to get the camera pulled back. Let's show the moves. Let's uh, like see what's going on. You know, um, I will say Flanja did say that. You know, he looked it up, and this is that guy's second movie. What's his first movie? It was called Footsteps. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it is. Then you're right. Good job. I stand corrected. Wow. Also, what? um, why'd you Mythic say, well, said, no, did no. I not take that? Well, I thought I was being nice. 
You have to say huh? you have to say Flange, you're right. Oh, Flange, you're right. But you didn't even you didn't even fact check him. He could be wrong. He could be lying to you. I am fact checking him you right now, but I'm still being nice about it. Um, Mythic, you Mythic submitted Old Boy, but the thing is about Old Boy is like they're Not fighting in Old Boy. I don't think it's a it's There's, a martial it's arts. It's like movie. Uh, the the martial arts is just the hammer scene, right? Is yeah. there any other fighting in that movie? The hallway scene. Do you, yeah, no, it's, I agree. You're with you. calling every scene a hallway scene. I'm getting confused. I know, I know. Also, I said, the entirety of all three seasons of Daredevil. A hallway scene. Are right, you ready? Yeah. This is, this let's is do it. A, a martial arts movie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's ever seen. I can't believe it. I'm dancing. Together, they'll face a challenge. You start hanging out with me and my friends. Wow. You have any damn thing that you want. Like nothing they've ever known. Let's go, McAllen. This summer, in an ancient tradition. True strength come from inside. Is about to collide. Come on, guys. Get my with a new generation. Let me fight him. You put her away. Pick up. Ah. I don't teach that kind of stuff, girls, Jim. The next Karate Kid. Damn, fucking horrible music. Jesus Christ. Get your I, shit I together, 1996 or whatever that was. Well, um, no, you know I, I mean, obviously I love it, but it's terrible. Did they? Did I, did I not hear Oombop in there? I think I heard an Oombop. <laughs> did you hear an Oombop there? No, I did not. I heard some Shredder guitar. Uh, you know why that's the best Karate Kid movie? <laughs> Tell me, please. Because none of the other Karate Kid movies had as many explosions as that one. I've only seen the first one. I've like I haven't I'm very uh I haven't seen the Karate Kid movies really at all. Oh. So you're an expert in martial arts films, but you haven't yeah, seen Yeah, martial arts films, not karate kid movies. Karate kid movies. That's the foundation of all karate kid movies. Of all martial arts movies. Yeah, but it's not. But uh it's like saying you I, like fantasy movies, but you've never seen now you're going to name something rings. else that's stupid. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But that's like, you know, even that would be new. So, but no, I mean, the, the, the Karate Kid movies are fine, you know, but it's, it's like, well, what I was just talking about, when I want to watch a martial arts movie, I want to watch, like, well-done martial Karate arts. Kid. Yeah. I don't want to watch some young white kid, like, do a crane kick, you know? You know, it's a funny Pat Morita movie. Um, I don't Pat think Marita. it really... Pat Morita. That's Mr. Miyagi. Okay. What? You don't know who Pat Morita is? No. I've Aren't always... you like my age? <laughs> Hold on. Chat. Can I get ones if it's Pat Morita? Twos if it's Pat Morita. Oh, maybe it is Morita. I don't know. Oh, is it Morita? <laughs> just <Okay>. saying. <laughs> just seems very... Are you just pulling a Trevor pronunciation on things now? I don't know, man. <laughs> Let's find out. All right, so Chad gave that 51%, so it just barely eked in uh, a second Pat point. Pat Morita? <laughs> so they're saying Pat Morita? They're saying Pat Morita. Okay. That's okay. No, 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 I don't care. It's not okay, a contest of who's right the most. It is Pat Morita. How can you tell? 
I'm I'm asking Wikipedia or here, check it out. One second. I just googled Pat Marita pronunciation. I'm I'm saying it I'm saying it that way one more time until I finally get better. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. He was Oscar nominated in the first Karate Kid. I gotta hear it. Oh wait, why is it not working? Hold on. Let me get the right speakers going. Pat Morita. Pat Morita. Can you hear it? Yeah. I mean, that's what I was saying. I know, but now we have the official... Yeah, I'm not going to believe you. You don't even, like... You guys, like, talk shit on all these great movies. Why am I supposed to trust anything you or Sam say ever? You've been on this show more than anyone else. You know we talk shit on everything. I know. That's why... But (laughs) Yeah, and I'm fine with that. But because of that... Let me finish explaining, Jumpy McGillicuddy. All right. So the because I know that because I have been on the show, that's why I'm not going to take your word for it. Because if I took your word for things, then Karate Kid is the pinnacle of martial arts movies, which Thank is an you, absolutely insane fucking opinion. Somebody clip that, please. <laughs> if anyone clips that, I'm going to like ban you for life from everything on the internet. <laughs> Um, so chat gave that two points. I'm giving it two points. It had so many explosions in it. That's four points for the next Karate Kid. Timmy? Uh, zero. It doesn't make me want to watch it. Okay. Maybe wow. one. Maybe one. Yeah, I'll give it zero. I mean, it doesn't It doesn't look, It doesn't doesn't look. make me want to go see that movie. You know what I mean? Hey, it's valid. It's valid. Um, okay, and that one came to us from Almobes. Hey. That right. was another uh, older submission. Um, and you're up, Timmy. Okay, I'm I'm lagging behind here. Do we? Do, okay. Do, do, do. What do, do you we, feel? Which way I'm gonna go with my submissions now? Because I know which way you're going. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to whatever looks good. I'm not trying to be anything. Um. But I'm also gonna. I'm, I'm trying to go for things that I don't think you'll pick. You know what I mean? So, I'm just so that we're not straight like fire. straight okay. battleship fire, baby. Battleship. Hold on, I, I just got to get back into. There we go. Fourteen ninety two. Oh, that's still. There's still some car movies in there. Okay. Oh shit. There's a good one. All right. This one is a fun time. It's starring someone who has gone too soon. This is a short one. Most of it is this screen. Okay. Brandon Lee is Jake Lowe. He wasn't looking for trouble. He saw me what tag! But it found him anyway. The Chicago branch of La Cosa Nostra. He hasn't pulled the trigger in 15 years. And you, my friend, were there to see it. Now, he's a witness. He'll be under 24 hour FBI protection. So, who else is testifying against this guy? Who's about to become a target. Freeze! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, running shirtless with a gun. <laughs> Booth. <laughs> My friend Casey and I watched this movie years ago, and Powers Booth, for some reason, his face is very red in that movie, so we started referring to Powers Booth as the big red face. I love <laughs> me some Powers Booth, though. Uh, that's a great trailer. <laughs> yeah, that definitely makes me want to watch that. It had some good scenes. Yeah. Um, I thought. Brandon, he, yeah. a, is, is he in another movie that's like a cop movie? Oh, okay. I was about I, to go into that. I feel Brandon like there's Lee, another one who, who was like, yes. he was undercover, right? Yes. Well, I don't know if he's undercover, but I <laughs> haven't seen it submitted. So if it's not submitted, I will play it. But there is. So Brandon Lee, obviously, life cut short making the crow. He got killed on set. 
Um, I think he only made four four movies. He made The Crow, Rapid Fire, one with Ernest Borgnine called Laser Mission, which is terrible, and uh, and then another and then another martial arts film that if it's not submitted, I will grab it. Laser. Laser Mission. Laser Mission. <laughs> yeah. Submit it. Because that it, sounds like something no, you not, should watch. Well, that's not a martial arts movie, though. But um, the uh, there's one other one he made that I will uh, put on if no one else. I'm not going to uh, say somebody, it because I don't want some cheat. Somebody in chat said it, and I'm like, yes. I, I feel we have watched what? it before. But, you what, know, Laser Mission? The one with the memory. You probably no, have no, watched no, Laser no, Mission no. The one you're not mentioning, people have oh, said Oh, yeah, they already chat. said it. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, for martial arts movies, it's a great one. Yeah, okay, yeah, fine. Whatever. It showed out in Little Tokyo. And I bought it recently. It's a great movie. Dolph Lundgren is ridiculous in it. And they do a fun... The whole story itself is kind of a fun flip thing where uh, Dolph Lundgren has been born and raised in Japan, knows martial arts, and he gets teamed up with this nerdy cop who has an Asian background, Brandon Lee, who has kind of like shunned all of his martial arts training and all this kind of stuff. But then they, they get into it and they fight Kari Hiroyoku Tanaka, which you might not recognize his name, but he's he's the guy that played... Uh, Shang Tsung in the first Mortal Kombat movie. He plays so many bad guys, you know? So, anyways, that's a good one. I give it two. I mean, it's it's a, it's fun. It's, it's got it a fun trailer. Well. Dude, think of it. It's got, it's got gunfight. It's got running shirtless with a gun, like you mentioned. It's got a bunch of martial arts, and he's doing Jackie Chan-style stuff, sliding tables into people. And um, he almost gets his dick sucked in the trailer. Yeah, he's like... like I don't know how many trailers I've seen that get that close to a blowjob. Like that's pretty close, right? I mean, they and they show his shellacked abs right there too. And uh, yeah, it's it's that trailer has a lot to it. I will say now, don't let this affect your scoring. But uh, they showed a few scenes in the movie where he's fighting in a kitchen, in his kitchen, like he gets attacked at his house or whatever. There's a great scene in that where a great part in that where he pulls open a silverware drawer and just like pulls out that little, he has one of those plastic trays that has all the silverware, and just like tosses all the silverware at this guy. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, no, I, I liked it. I'm giving that uh, two points. Yeah, do it. And I Chat will too. also gave it two points. So that's six? So that is another, I think all of our trailers have been six point trailers. Oh, well, except... it's been a good night. No, we. I gave it zero. I give that one zero. The kid, Karate Kid one. Oh, I put it down at seven, so... Sorry. Seriously, just to spite me? No. Play by the rules. Fucking rude motherfucker. Okay, um, so that was uh, that was Mycotron. 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 With stick Should I? Now that one's down towards the bottom. Should I still put the two in there so that we can find it? Yeah, put yes. it on. And okay. I don't know how familiar you are with spreadsheets, but you know, I, I know you work in an office, so I assume. Yeah, we don't really do spreadsheets. Okay. So I was saying, if you if you click the number of the column or of of the row, right, uh, mm-hmm. of what it is, and then you can change the color. So I've also been changing them to yellow to stand out. Oh, okay. So you don't have to do that. I'll do that. But as long as you put the number two in okay, one of cool. those columns, like it'll pop cool. out for me, so we cool, can cool, sort cool, it cool. out later. All right, guys. Um, my next trailer is this one. We're we're rocketing through this. We got a lot of trailers. Yeah, I think usually it takes us a while to get the show going, and then mm-hmm. um, we do rabbit hole a little bit, where we'll like watch something, and somebody in chat will be like, you know, there's a sequel to that, and we're like, what? Uh, okay. And then we'll watch every sequel well, to Well, you know, since no one officially submitted it, we should watch Showdown in Little Tokyo anyway, because it's a fun trailer. I, well, I assume it's it, a fun trailer. If, if you say it now, and somebody submits it, it still counts. People, you know, really? It's still taking, yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't want to say it, but then people said mm-hmm. it in the trailer anyways, hey, or in the, in the chat anyways. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. Wait, was that? Can can we start over real quick? Why? Go. Uh, trust oh, me. Sorry. Can you just start over? Right. So so all right. Yeah. Sorry. There's a reason. Look, it's oh, it's like a different uh, language word for it. Okay, never mind. I, I, I was uh, confused. with me. Give you discount. Oh no. I try not to spoil the title, the YouTube title for chat. Okay. Is 100 bucks enough? Whoa. Never trust a whore. Jesus. Wow. Wow. Here, pal. 
I'm in deep shit, Daniel. Somebody got there before me. So, but it's all very suspicious. Ah, shut up! I kill for a lot less. <laughs> Whoa, that scene was great. Oh, they say it a lot. Is this a 6, 1960 trailer for when it's coming out, or is this like one of those that cut? One, right. Someone finds a crazy movie, puts it on Blu ray, and then cuts a trailer, a new trailer for it. There's Donald Pleasance. Wow. And that, my cat and I have watched over since your birth. Chinese object you are holding contains the story of your life and the task divine will has entrusted to you. You're not leaving this place until you've told me everything I want to know. Spin three murders on you in a flash. I think I know where it is. What have you got in mind? I'm not sure. Nothing fits. Nothing makes any sense. Joanna? I have to see you. You scream, I swear to God, I'm gonna stick you with this thing, all right? Found it in the gutter. I'm sure you're familiar with AIDS. I saw. Jesus. I don't touch it. It's only a cat. <laughs> a shell kid. Wow. Wow. Yo, there's some major spoiler going on here. That movie is dope. Is that hey, a you just, you've been saying it's just about the trailer, not the movie. You just said the movie is dope. We don't know that. We do know mean, that the trailer was great. The trailer was great. Yo, you know, uh, I, I okay. think uh, what I was saying during the trailer is it seems to me this is one of those movies that was lost to the sands of time. Yeah. And then uh, some cool little boutique DVD Blu ray place like uh, Vinegar Syndrome or. You know, um, Alamo shout, yeah, maybe Alamo found it and uh put it out there so they cut a trailer, which means they have the advantage of knowing what people that are very much like us are looking for, and they're cutting it for that rather than trying to sell the movie to the general audience. So I feel like when they cut a trailer together like that, it's possibly a tiny bit unfair compared to normal movie trailers you'd see in the theater because they're skewing it towards people like us who do things like this. You know what no, I mean? Uh, yeah, versus, right. versus, but that being said, so this, so what I'm saying is they're going to think like, what's a guy like Timmy or Nate want to see in a trailer? And they're going to put that in there and it's all fucking money shots to us. You know what I mean? And obviously that was not a, a proof of general audiences trailer. Cause there was like a, that really rad shot of a snake crawling out of a guy's eye. So, you know. People are saying there was a boob in it. Oh, was um, there? I did I not see, see a boob. I see that. Um, two for boob. Mm. Was it nipple? I kind of want to find it. Here, hold on. We're going to go back to this. Um, um, yeah, there was a boob. Yeah, I'll run it back. Full single boob, no nipple. Uh, I didn't see Nip that flip. at all. Um, let's see. Hold on, guys. Where was it? Was it the part where the, no where says the bloody hand? One twenty-one. Wow, you really know what you're talking about. I'm just seeing in chat. Someone said that. Um, on the bed. Yeah, but I don't think. Hold on. I don't think know. there was nipple. Three murders on you in a flash. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, there wow. it is. Oh, okay. oh. how'd you do that? Oh. No, they can't see what? it. Only you okay. and I can see that. So, but does that disqualify it? Yeah, like it's a negative one. <sighs> That's rough. That's rough. God damn it, people. Mm. Screen your trailers. Look for titties. This should yeah. be fun for you. Because like I just said a little bit ago, everybody likes boobs. So, um, you know, the scour first rule the trailers of trailer for boobies. Boys, the first rule of Trailer Boys is watch your own fucking trailers. Right. But... Yeah, um, also, Pinkerball also said there was no martial that. arts, and yeah, there wasn't really martial arts in that. I mean, I, that that movie I love, though. That that would be a winner to me. Um, it's, it's, uh, man, I, I love that. Beach That Makes You Old, I'm sorry, we have to give you a negative one. That looked, that was amazing to me. Right. I, I gotta, you know what, though? I mean, yeah, there was, it doesn't look like a martial arts movie, so I would maybe disqualify it based on that, too. 
It's such a good movie, though, too. I mean, it. it I, I agree. It. I, I mean, we won't. We never disqualify stuff when it's off theme, but like the chat shows it in their votes. Um, and I just that was such a good one. So sorry, bud. But hey, you got my number, Nate. Pandering. Um, Nate me- pandering. Yes. What's up? It's your turn. All right. Well, I'm gonna go with this. I'll make I'll do things a little differently. And that movie was dope. <laughs> I do want to see it. Like I, I started googling that one right away. <laughs> Us in the theater took young siblings to it. Fuck yeah. It's time to pay the piper. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Something's coming along. Did you see the remake? No. The new Power Rangers movie? No. I really liked it. Go on. You know, people love to give this show shit, uh, but they had well choreographed martial arts. And some people that directed episodes of the show and stuff went on to be good, like, action movie directors. And I mean, look at this shit. This is great. This is it. I want to watch this now. Oh, yeah, they get ninja powers. Ninjetti! Ninjetti? Were they were they not ninjas before? No, they're just kung fu uh, super pilots. I don't know. Yes, George Schmoor, just crush them like roaches. That was incredible. The movie. Now here it comes. Dude, I mean, someone mentioned. Oh my God, Devo's on the soundtrack, and they might be giants. Get out. <laughs> Um, someone mentioned the trailer voting for nostalgia, and I, I wouldn't go that far, but I mean, obviously, I, you know, I, I'm a little old for kids that like Power Rangers, but I did watch it because I'm the oldest of six kids, so it was on all the time when the younger siblings were watching it, and I took, uh, you know, my, my little brothers and sister or something to this movie. Um, but that all aside, that's a fun trailer. There's lots of crazy stuff happening in it there's goofy kicking and ninja fighting a dinosaur skeleton you know yes but But, i'm not gonna give it points why because i think my favorite thing of the power rangers right and what i was like anticipating and looking for in the trailer is the kaiju aspect of it and that was like we're making we're gonna make a jump to 3d animation you know, oh, you mean and, guys in suits? Yeah. But there was a lot of great, whether or not they were kaiju, there were some really great animatronic practical creatures in that. That pig face guy, yeah. and obviously Ivan Ooze and stuff like that. Mm, I want to see so, a guy. Well, yeah, you're right. Since this is the kaiju themed show, then I agree that you should be giving it zero points. <laughs> like, I don't care. I just like to shoot your shit the hole, uh, shoot a hole in your stuff. Yeah, yeah. I got some people in chat with me here. Yeah, well, they're all um, wrong, too. You know, everybody's wrong. I just don't. VR Troopers, uh, Anchor89 says, do you remember VR Troopers? I personally don't, but last yeah, week, like, was randomly, like I was, like, looking up, like, uh, Sabin Films and looking up everything that guy did, and it was, like, like, Power Rangers through and through, like, every little bit of it, but then, like, right before Power Rangers was VR Troopers, and I'm like, oh, damn, I gotta check that out. Yeah, Big Bad Beetleborgs is one somebody mentioned. Is that the one that had some kind of creature that looked like a blue Jay Leno? Never seen it. Well, someone mentioned it, um, so they would probably know. But uh, let me see. I bet we can get a picture. It was the internet-based one with Tim Curry. Oh, Flange is asking if it was the internet. I was right. Let's rabbit hole it, Tim. 
See, Timmy. Yeah, should we watch a <laughs> a big bad you... Beetleborgs trailer? Yeah, yeah. Find find a trailer for uh, what is it? VR Troopers? Well, no, I'm going Beetleborgs uh, first. Oh, that's a that's a whole separate title. Yeah, yeah. yeah big bad it. Beetleborgs. Okay. Here we'll just go with the we'll just go with the TV show intro, right? Yeah. Oh, was it a TV show or a movie? Yeah, it was a TV show. All right. Was VR Troopers a TV show yes. or a movie? Oh. Here we go. This is dope. Hey, look now, they're yeah. superheroes armed with superpowers. Go! Taken from a comic strip, and now they're Beetleborgs. I didn't know there's all these. Big, 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 I was not aware. Big, big, wow. That was fucking tight. Yeah, that was dope. Yeah. Uh, I did not know. I remember that show being on. I remember the Blue Jay Leno guy. I did not remember that there's a bunch of like classic monsters involved for some reason. Like, the mummy? Yeah, the mummy and, and dragon. It's big. Where are we watching now? It's so weird. It's bold. You can turn down the volume on the right corner of the video. It's the next step in Adventure so, Pack's live action this children's looks older than Big Bad Beetleborg. The leaders of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the number one children's show in America, comes Saban's VR Troopers. Saban, I said say In peaceful cross-world city, three teenagers and lifelong uh, friends are see how long this trailer is? to master an awesome technology. <laughs> We're not going to watch this yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thing, are we? I can't watch four power. minutes of this no, loud screaming about Saban. All right. Could you you can change the volume yourself. Yeah, I guess I yeah. could. But I also uh, like no, no. I'm just I'm just telling you for the future. Um, it's in the corner. Um, but okay. so I guess this came out after Power Rangers, which is kind of funny because I thought it was like uh, a pre Power Ranger thing. Oh, there's another one I remember. There's a bunch of these, man. Jesus. Um, this reminds me of. Um, uh, oh, you know, unfortunately, I don't know if chat. I know some chat is into it, but. Um, um, I, I was going to bring up, I saw an episode of, there's a streaming channel called Museum of Home Video, Museum of Home Movies. Um, and they did like a bunch of very special episodes of like TV shows, like people have forgotten Earth. about pretty much, you know? And it was like the know, very special these, episodes. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was really great. It wasn't like the ones that you would, that everyone knows like cherry getting stuck in the fridge. What did I do? Yeah. Um, but, um, it, it, oh, it, cherry getting stuck in the fridge, uh, Arnold's friend getting molested, stuff like that. But it was just like a bunch of shit like this. It was like very special episode of you know Big Bad Beetleborgs or something like that. And they 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 deal with you know tough tough things. But um, right. apparently that channel they got dinged. Um, I don't know if it was a nipple or something, but they hit TOS too many times in a small amount of time, oh, and geez. so they've killed their channel and they're they've started their own website, which is. That's a bummer, you know? Yeah. Hey, anyway. what? Uh, how many points did we give that one? I gave it two. Chat gave it what? Shit. I don't know what Chat gave it. <laughs> I think Chat gave it two, but they could have given it three. I know, I th- yeah, sure. no, 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 you're right. I don't I think Chat gave it. it three. Three is over 75%. I think they were like 74%. Okay. I'm going to give it um, zero points because it yeah, did not have what I wanted. Right, despite it being fine since that's not the theme but that's okay well no i mean that's the thing is I know, yeah, technically it has martial care. arts sure i so, don't care i just want to give uh, you shit uh who submitted that that one was beans oh uh, beans mm-hmm, beans new englander um yes also shout outs to slippery gu up for resubscribing J Boo Guy thirty four. No, I, I just I don't. I oh, you're trying to be this. clever. Phoenix Knight forty seven also resubscribing. Thank you very much. Phonix, it's pronounced Phonix. <laughs> um. All right. So, um. Let me see. You're up, where pal. We did. We did watch Jim Cotta, right? Yeah, last week or last yeah, two weeks ago. We did watch Jim Cotta. Okay. Oh yes. Oh yes. 
You would like, uh... You found one for yourself? Okay. Yeah, I've already marked so many of them that we didn't get to watch. Help me out. Oh, oh hey, what did we give? It? Hey, hold on. I'm sorry. What, what? How many points were we giving Marintau? Six. We each gave it two? Okay, cool. All right, continue. Well, I've never heard of this one. Um, Here's the thing. I think we're not going to watch this because... Oh, it's fake? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It says fake in the preview. Yeah. Skipping ahead. Um, um, I, I mean, I know it wouldn't be you picking, but there's one here that I'm pretty sure you would enjoy. Oh, yeah? But uh, uh, now I lost the number of it. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it go? All right, you mark it for me, and I'll watch it after. Oh, well, I'll I'll do it if you're if you're okay. I found it now. I'll do it. Hmm. Use that Acropolis footage. Whoa, whoa. Dude, this is another four and a half minute trailer. Jesus. That's cool, though. <laughs> they look really fast. <laughs> I like the title. Dude, a lot of uh, Hong Kong trailers, especially from like 70s and 80s, are so long. They show like everything. Yeah, they're in the beginning. You guys would say you couldn't hear the sound. It was just, it was like really low. Like yeah, there's not much going on. Yeah. That's a great looking fight, though. Okay. Is this Yun Biao? I think it's. Yun Biao. Was he the little kid grown up? I, oh, Cynthia Rothrock! Hell yeah! Okay. Alright, I mean, I don't want to watch all four minutes of this, but it's... So far, well, it's got the goods. You have to. It's got the goods. Um, I, I don't get any story from this so far. But we don't need a story. Sometimes it, it's nice when you get one, but you also don't want to get spoiled. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, right now, we're being sold a movie that features all this good shit in it. I mean, look at this guy's got his cool, like, uh, studded gauntlets for the, to block her sword. That's dope. And look at that. Got a little uh, wire fighting in it. She's, you know this she lady? Did, she just did a boob shaking move. That's Cynthia Cynthia Rothrock. She's a she was a uh, big time martial artist. Uh, Michelle Yeoh, who's from Crouchy Tiger, and she's a big deal again right now because everything ever all at once. She and Cynthia Rothrock did a. They both Michelle kind of Yeoh broke together from um, Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. Yes, come to the temple. I guess there's no narration in this trailer. No, this is just a very... This might be one of those cut-together later movies. Oh, now who's this gal? Whoa! <laughs> That's awesome. I do like how you've had two women in it, in it so Hell far. Yeah. You know, it's like uh, kind of uh, progressive for the time. Well, you know, uh... uh Michelle Yeoh helped Whoa. change it too. She told Jackie and all those guys, like, listen, enough with all the damsels in distress shit. Oh, is this gonna be children fighting? Yes. Yes. Whoa, his what, foot's a hand. What just happened here? His hand's a foot. Come on, what just happened to him? Feet. Whoa! Oh, that must be the magic crystal again. Up to its old shenanigans. Hell yeah. Oh shit. Fuck yeah. That's a they lot got a of guys. I hate it when a bunch of. I hate it when you're just trying to get to the warehouse to pick something up and there are a bunch of guys in geese show up with a forklift. What are they doing um, karate? Or is that the priest that the Jackie Chan murdered in that other trailer? Whoa. Ooh. I have a 
theory about scenes like that. I'll say it after the first. No, I don't have to consult music. Okay, I had this theory for a long time that every good movie has a part where somebody slides through a tube. <laughs> think about it. It said so many good movies. movies. Oh, this poor fucking kid. Goonies, uh, Empire Strikes Back, um, The Matrix, uh, tons of them. That's it. Is that you? Oh, see, they, this is my problem with the long trailers. They showed so much of the story. Like, now we know there's, like, some sort of whatever what? the hell that thing is. <laughs> Can you tell me what the story is? No, but I fucking have a story. But, like, they showed so much of, like, what's going on. Okay, hold on. Let me pause this and see who's in this. But, uh, <laughs> there's so many... Fo- oh, it's Andy Lau and Cynthia Rothrock. Okay, cool. Of course. Um, I mean, great trailer, though. I don't know. Like, um... You don't I'm... know? Of course you don't. No, I should no. let you go first so that you can't just be saying something to go against me. Because I feel like that's been happening. <laughs> You're just waiting to see what I say so you do the other thing to create some sort of drama oh. or something. Well, like, uh, like it was cool. Everything in it I liked. Somebody said... Um... Uh, J, J, JSBX fan said this, this is a movie you'd see like on at a bar and be like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. I think this is like visually yeah. cool. The trailer and is as cool. They also said that same person said later, they showed the same fight scene twice, which is true. I think they did. <laughs> That's so funny. But, but also to, okay. In defense of the trailer, I think that was not like an official in theaters trailer. That was somebody cutting together a bunch of footage with some music behind it. But they, even then, they still didn't do a good job because they showed the same fight twice. So, yeah, I get that. I would say, one, like, I still would be interested in watching the movie. But I definitely two, want to watch I don't yeah. think it's a good trailer. I think yeah, I get any you. story, no. you know? I think, well, again, you don't need, I don't think you need story to have a good trailer. But True, but you, uh, I, I want to know, like, what's the hook? You know, like, what's the scenario? Well, the hook is all these great fight scenes. I didn't even see anything with the magic crystal. Dude, the, the kid had it in the uh, when he in that like Temple of Doom segment, and then in the first part of the trailer where everybody said it was too quiet, he was like opening the crystal and it was like swirling green and stuff. Look, I'm not saying I'm gonna I'm not gonna pretend to know the story, but I mean the stuff you're saying didn't happen was straight up in the trailer. No, nope. yeah, the the crystal was there, but then it's like, what does the crystal do? Like, we don't need it, to know that. We just need to yeah. know that somehow it's involved in all this fighting. I want to know what the premise of the story is, and I didn't even get that. It was just that there was fighting happening, and there's yeah. an alien spaceship and a crystal, and a kid with, and a guy with feet hands and hands feet. See, um, now, if you had just told me there's a movie like that, I don't need to know the story. <laughs> it was fun. Um, I the thing is, I it. It was enough to make me watch it, but yeah. it wasn't enough. But not a great trailer. No, I yeah. get it. So I get it. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, give yeah. it. I'm gonna give it one point, and Chad gave it two points. I'll give it. Yeah, I'll give it one. I'll give it one, because I do agree with a lot of the uh, complaints there. So, all right. Well, that goes to Marissa, Good and job, Marissa, Marissa gets four points. I might change up what I was gonna pick because I've picked a lot. We've been watching a lot of stuff like that. So let me get back to. God damn it, that's not it. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, hey, here's the one I was talking about. Maybe they submitted after I talked about it. No, no, they didn't. Oh. It's in there. Well, let's see. Uh... Oh! All right. Going off the last one. Submitted before I mentioned it. Before I mentioned tonight. I mean, 
mean, there's so much sander in your own exhibitions. Oh, shit. Oh, right by the neck. Ooh, wait, right at the back. Well, it's because they're not explaining every point of the script in the trailer, so... And there's no I mean, I would monsters. just like to know what the story is. There's no giant monsters. Yeah. And so far, it's a chick they had to fight. <laughs> this is that lady you like? Yeah. yeah. Well, and Michelle, you yeah, the other one. This is the movie I was talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And then, then it was in the submission. <laughs> That's another good fall for you, Nate. Yeah. Isn't the show go? Yeah. Okay. The real fly in the short hair. Oh, fuck yeah. I forgot. Oh. I've never seen this movie because it's hard to find. But, uh... That is called... Yes, Madam. There it is. There we go. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Another one where we didn't get the plot, but the story... I mean... Yeah, I mean, still, there's a hook there, which is, you're gonna see these two chicks... They're women, you know. to me. Huh? They're women. Two women, yeah, but I'm talking about, like, the, in the trailer, in the 80s, this is one, like, the first lady-led, like, kung fu films of the time. It's like... That's the that's the what I'm saying the hook is of the times like you're gonna see these two ladies, you know, kick ass and do martial arts, you know. So that's that's what I'm getting at. Um but anyways it's a it's it's a fun trailer and it wasn't too long, which is nice, because some of these get so fucking long. I'll say um I I enjoyed it, but again, you know, my issue I is that it, so you can't yeah. No, 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 no. My my I'm issue. Just kidding, man. No, I re- I really liked the fight scenes. It was great, but it was pretty much a fight scene, not really much a trailer, you know. Right. Um. Well, I mean, that's well. Here's the thing, man. Is uh, maybe you got to broaden your horizons here. That was a trailer. It's just that that's not. It, but the the trailer was fight scenes because that's the kind of movie it was selling. You know what I mean? Yeah. One point. Yeah. I give it to because I like the fighting. And it says this is it, the comment in it. Uh, this is uh, does say this is a little bit of Timmy pandering. Maybe it's after I mention it, but whatever. Who submitted um, it? Are we good? Did, did we get the chat points already? Yeah, chat gave it three points. So that's six points. Three. I gave it two and you gave it one. Okay. Um, uh, away, stork away. Oh. A little bit of history on this one, too. So that scene where they're in the airport and she kicks the guy's holding her hostage and she kicks behind him. Behind her and kicks him in the face. Uh, so in the plot of the movie, they don't know who she is yet because that's when her character enters the story, and so no one knows she knows martial arts. But also, when that movie came out, no one knew who that lady was, so they did not know that that person, whether it was the character or the actress, they did not know that person was going to be like a karate badass and so like it was a that seems kind of a big shocker because suddenly this lady who's been taken hostage you think it might just be some whatever background actress or something then she kicks the guy in the face and like oh this is the other lady okay <laughs> you know but i wish anyway. i got some of that in the trailer okay <laughs> I'm, I'm being real i, I you- know i know it's just it's like i wish you could have fun I know, I'm having fun. It was good, but hey, we're rating trailers, not the movie. I know, I'm just telling you. Oh. Oh. I've never seen this. Are you fucking kidding me? What? I can't believe you've never seen this. I don't watch a ton of anime. Kind of man, who you may alone I love the music. Yeah. I like that bass. I like that bass. I like that bass. I like that bass. I Oh, we 
have a challenge for this. Weaponless deadly attacks. Wow. 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 A large scale of manly ideals. Okuto no okite wa ore ga mamoru. Ice cream o butchi abu super action. Okuto no ken. Fuck yeah. Um. Is that what the original thing was called? Okuto no ken. I mean, that's I Fist know. of the North Star. Right, that was um, Fist, of, Fist of the North Star. I don't know. Man, uh, I'm I'm shocked. I'm not, I'm not giving you shit being like, you've never seen that, but like, dang. Oh, no, I hate when people do that, but yeah. Well, um, no, I don't watch a ton of anime, um, but uh, I, that's what I've always wanted to see, so that definitely made me want to see it more, so uh, that was a good trailer. And, you know, I was talking earlier about narration. I think, uh, I don't know if that that voice, if that's a guy that does a lot of trailers, but... It's definitely in Japanese films. You don't see it in a lot of other stuff, but that Japanese trailer voice is like, it's like this voice for Americans. You know what I mean? That that style of Japanese trailer voice is so great. Just like kind of shouting what the movie's about. Super action! You know? And then just like, it's awesome. Like he's getting you fucking psyched for this. Yeah. And then of course I, the imagery matches it. The imagery was all incredible. So Normally I would say like... Um you know, like uh, anime wouldn't count for a category like this, but right. Fist of the North Star is like a martial arts. It's not, you know, like robots and stuff. It's straight right, up, right, like, right. you know, hand to hand combat. Um, well, I, the and, funny and thing is, a, yeah, go ahead. No, I was, I was like, I don't remember shit about that movie really. And I, we used to watch that back in like the skateboarding, weed smoking sure. days. Like we used to watch that shit all the fucking time. Well, there, there's a couple of different ways you can uh, uh, interpret the term martial arts film, because a lot of these movies are like, well, this guy's a cop, but he knows karate, you know? But then you have the movies that are about martial arts, which yeah. this is that, where it's like they're talking about his style, they're talking about, like, his, you know, uh, their techniques and, and how they're, you know, all that kind of stuff. And there's a lot of, you know, and so, the, so that makes the fact that it's animated, okay. You know, because then you got the guy doing on the like a hundred fist punch and all that stuff, like Wah! you know, like that's great. And uh, um, so what what that. would what would you give that? Because that had a challenge, so we need to put points on it, and then we got to oh, watch another. I would do two one. for that. That's good. Uh, I would do two for that. So that's a six that's point cool. trailer up mm -hmm. up for grabs. Let me see. Um, uh, away, stork away. You're challenging. Wait, let me see. But it is the trailer. Uh, wait. What's the question? Wait, no, that was Fist of the North Star. So you're not challenging? Uh, okay. What's going okay. on? No longer a challenge. All right. Rikio? Do they, do they look like the same? I guess they're the same uh, category. What about Rikio? Oh, I guess I guess they were done by the same uh, thing. Oh, Res Dodge says it's a whack trailer. I thought it was dope. I, for you know, for the same yeah, reasons Timmy was trailer? saying. Um, I don't know. Res Doge didn't like it. Huh. Uh, Rikio, I've never seen. And a lot of people have been the yelling story of Rikio, I've too, never seen so, either. Yeah. Um, that seems pretty fucking cool. Um, uh, no Gooby Dome, I guess. No, a different one. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's like Mad Max of Kung Fu. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dope. And it's like that, you know, um, that exaggerated cartoonish obviously shit you know where you're like yeah. it's the face things blow up it's pretty visceral it's gross um 
man, that really, it gives me a lot of nostalgia, but um, again, I don't yeah. remember shit about it. So I, I really liked it. it. Um, that was a Niamix trailer. And right. that is six points to Niamix. Let's see. Good job. Um, uh, chat didn't like that as much as I thought they would, actually, you know? Because chat's always well, asking here, us to do know, I, uh, cartoons are you a and huge anime. An, are you a huge anime guy? No. Um, and neither am I. I'm normal And sized. I feel like a lot of people on the internet tend to be. And so I feel like they're going to be uh, more opinionated about something like that. Whereas me, being just some schlubby dad, it's like, oh yeah, cool music, cool, uh, you know, storyline kind of thing happening. And a lot of just, like, cool punching and heads exploding fucking in. You know, that's all I need. What's I was saying, somebody, uh, uh, Syntax Eater said, Gives Me Nostalgia isn't the trailer. True, but the, the, what I'm saying is, Gives Me Nostalgia, I don't remember anything about it, but everything Timmy said is also, like, why I'm in. I'm like, yeah, I, I, you got me. I don't you know? know shit about it. And then when yeah. I learned about it, I'm like, watching the trailer, I'm like, oh, cool, this is, like, about martial arts, you know, and I, I like that kind of thing. So six points. Good job. Timmy, what do you got mm -hmm. for us? It is my turn. I need to... I've been looking and looking. I'm, I'm working on it. Here. Old okay. anime is hard to get into for the young folks. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I know a lot of the old anime classics. You know, like Akira is still one of like... I watch Akira and it still blows my mind. It, I just fucking think right. it is so fucking right. good. Um... Maybe, should I find something stupid? It's no Crippled Masters. <laughs> crippled Masters. Uh, someone submitted Crippled Avengers, which I had talked about. Maybe I could do that. But now we're going to, let's do this one. Why not? I, I haven't gotten into Attack on Titan yet, but I feel like I want to. But people tell me there's like a thousand episodes of it. Ooh. Oh, it tells you the name of the movie right there. Uh, I think this might be one of those trailers from video stores. Yep, it totally is. Oh, yeah, it's a loud trailer. Yeah. We've got ninja suits, we've got machine Thanks for, guns. Thanks for helping me out again. That's all right, Chuck. That's what sidekicks are for. Hey, Brandis. I've had yeah. talks with him about the daydream. He died, right? He's made up this yep. world where he can be, uh... Chuck Norris? He says they're sidekicks. town. They do things together. Barry is only a winner in his dreams. Wow. So where's your friend Chucky you now, retard? Now, there's someone hey. I want you and your dad to meet. But hope is coming his way. Oh, oh, man. Man. First lesson, you must oh, always be ready. Oh. I will help you learn what you want to know. <laughs> you will work with these an hour each day. If you make a mistake, they will sting you. Hurt the nuts. Look out! Oh, Stop that guy. Driving. Oh. Yeah. Now he has the guts to try to be worthy of his idol. Hey, Barry. Uh, don't listen to them. Richard Mall. Listen to me. That's what his name is. I'll reach you to the top. Wow. I, uh, I can't. Who the hell is he talking to? You can do it, Barry. Oh. Hey, uh, Cooper. Winnie. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a lot of way. We always seem to meet this way. It's not going to be so easy this time. Do you want a real shot at me? Karate tournament? If you're not too yeah. Wow. Why don't you just quit now and avoid the embarrassment? His hero is about to step out of his fantasies. I am Chuck Norris. And fight at his side. Why don't you and I go win this thing, huh? A dreamer. What? A champion. An unbeatable team. Fire! Sidekicks. <laughs> Fucking good. Yeah, totally, man. <laughs> In a world where everybody enables this kid's crazy delusions. <laughs> I, I also love that the first of all the Chuck Norris movies we watch. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a big thing was like, you guys already finished the martial arts theme. You didn't watch one Chuck Norris movie. Yeah, and that's that's the first one we've seen. Um, but I, I like well, Chuck it. Norris is like, yeah, he's, he's definitely a legit martial artist, but 
he starts to follow along the same lines for me as like, you didn't watch a Karate Kid? Nah, he's like kind of lame. But uh, that movie, that trailer was dope. And it's crazy, and I thought it gave too much away, but uh, what it gave away was still great, like uh, concrete blocks on fire. You know how many how many cuteness points would you give Jonathan Brandis in that trailer? Yeah, what's the scale? Ten. Ten. Oh, I don't know. He's pretty cute. I go seven. What do you think? Seven's the cover of Tiger Beat. You know that's all you need is seven to get in the cover of Tiger Beat. Really. Um, what was the last thing Jonathan Brandis made before he died? Sequest, right? Oh, yeah. I think that's it. And he really, he did look kind of the same in Sequest, though. Um. Chuck Norris' son, Eric, was in Sidekicks. Oh. Wow. Principal Roll says, my college roommate's dad DP'd Chuck Norris. Mm. Double penetrated Chuck Norris? Yeah. Holy shit. Blaze at 911, what up? So what they, up, what up? they so their dad was with another dude and they both put their dicks in Chuck Norris at the same time. Yes. That's fucking great. Um I'll give Is that, that the story of his birth? Is <laughs> he that was how you're born, born? Born from the anus of Chuck Norris <laughs> <laughs> to unleash hell upon an unsuspecting world. <laughs> um I'll give it two points. It was a fun trailer. I think I give it almost everything two points. Yeah, we have a lot of six points. Whatever, man. Well, that, there's a lot of fun trailers, though. Plus, sure. we're plus. Let's think about this. And dog, or Nart, excuse me. We're looking through two weeks worth of submissions, so we got a lot to choose from. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm giving it two points as well. What chatty um, chat chatters do? Chat gave it two points as well. It's another six point trailer. Number six, or okay. All right. How many more do you want to do? I, I do need to go to bed sometime soon. But what do you? What are you thinking? Um, I don't know, like 30 more each. Thirty more. No, I'm just kidding. Normally we do look, Timmy, you're the mm-hmm. co-host now. You get to choose when you when you tap out. Yeah, um, I'm gonna no, uh, I, well it's just that it's just about eleven here, so I will have to tap out soon. We we normally I have to wake do up and get my kid to school show. and all that shit. Okay. Huh? You do three hours normally? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Fuck. It's okay. I can, you I can't can do tap that out whenever you want. Well, and I didn't know that, uh, you know, this was a yesterday thing, so, you know. Like I was saying, I asked you on the show. <laughs> Did he ask me on the show? It wasn't right yeah. before? <laughs> oh, it wasn't before? I thought, I thought he asked you, like, for the first time. Yeah, like, hey, so you I want mean, to do that thing? Nate, I'm not coming on here to talk smack on anybody, but <laughs> that that tracks. <laughs> uh, uh, who submitted who submitted that one though oh fucking hell I knew you were going to ask me that um, well I, I want to make sure the points go to the right I person I know I'm and, kidding of course you would ask me that uh, it's important um, Jesus where the hell is it uh, uh, Resident Steevil hey. thanks Steevil um, I guess he should thank us since we gave him the points. <laughs> There's so many fucking submissions too. It's like, uh-huh. um, this well, one. Well, my problem is I talk about it, so I, I'm I just submit another one that I mentioned, but that's okay. Or I'm going to play a submission that I mentioned, but I don't think they put. I think it, no, this went up before I mentioned it, so that's good. Well, anyway, this one you, gets submitted a couple times, and so I I don't think we watched it. The hardest thing is the way our thing is set up. It's like, yeah, there's two lists. Now it's, now it's hard to tell. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. All right. Not that I know of. Scarecrow video. Holy shit! This is the actual coming try. This is where I stole this from. <laughs> awesome. I thought I hit the button accidentally, and I was like, oh shit. Simon Reed. You know that name? Mm-hmm. It's for the best. Oh, Philip Free. He's the one from the best of the best movies. That's right. Written, produced, and directed by two guys. So this is probably low budget. Okay. Whoa, that's... Strange Drew in the reference that sound. Is there Mar- 
<laughs> wow. Right in the fucking butt. Ass. Oh, shoe went flying. And his reaction times are real bad. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did that woman explode it? So. Okay, okay, okay. Cutting a chef's throat. Whoa, this is a winner already. And that music is fucking ridiculous. Uh oh, there's gonna be like a head in there. Two heads! Wow. Is this the fan from Revenge of the Nerds? It really looked like it. Was that guy flying? Um, yes. All of this, yes. Go home, Simon. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Is this a real movie? Go home. <laughs> Someone just cut together all the good shit. But, yeah. Oh, the MC. Yep. That's the kind of trailer I was talking about. That's okay, though. Um. Wow. Scarecrow video. On Earth the Gem. Yeah, um, dude. In a, that was they're based Fira. out of Seattle, right? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to check that shit out. Uh, that was a good trailer. And it was uh, Go Home. Uh, do, were you, Nate, tell me something. Were you impressed when I like totally predicted the heads being under that thing? Yeah. Well, you know what? And I, I, and I feel like I have to give the filmmakers credit where you predict that you're like, there's a head underneath that. And then there were two there's heads. There's two heads. Oh. Yes. That's oh. dope as fuck. Yeah. That's cool. Um, I agree. Oh, wait, somebody said disqualified. Disqualified. Why? Oh no. What happened? Was there, Is there boobies a boob? in it? I didn't see boob? any. There's boobs. I didn't see any boobs. Two people said disqualified. Somebody said boobs. Really? Are there women in that trailer? Yeah. I'm, I'm missing boobs, huh? I, you know what, Nate? I miss It's boobs. a fan trailer. Oh, people are saying disqualified from a fan trailer. It's oh, not technically well, it's a, fan not a fan trailer. It's a fan trailer. trailer. So from a video company, a video yeah. store. So, I mean, I get what they're saying, though, because that goes with what I was saying earlier about how it's maybe not quite the same thing when it's an older movie that someone finds says, hey, this is crazy and terrific and cuts a trailer of the stuff they love that they know people who are film nerds will enjoy. Like you know, Miami so I do Connection. get the... Huh? Like Miami Connection was like a lost movie, and, you know, Which I was literally it. about to submit because somebody has it, but but actually, I was... That's not that one. I was going to submit something, then I decided not to. I, I was going to pick that submission, then I decided not to, kind of for that reason. But so, well, Furious is a, is a similar thing, and um, what's the other one where I was talking about this at, where it's just like a bunch of cool shit... Together, oh five force five or whatever, and those are all the kinds of movies that get picked up. You know, like uh, I'll grab another example. Hold on. All right, I grabbed two examples, but so uh, all these boutique video places and and th things like Scarecrow, Alamo, Vinegar Syndrome. Uh, uh, what's this one? Garage House Pictures. You know, they like to find weird old movies and get them back out there that were kind of lost. But they love this style of movie the most, where it's like a team of people, you know, so you got Ninja Busters, which is like a bunch of dudes busting ninjas. I think I talked about this one last time, but just that's a great cover. And then this one, which is really similar plot to, Raw For or to Force 5, which is Raw Force. <laughs> except in raw force there is a cult on an island and they are uh kidnapping prostitutes and killing <laughs> them to use blood magic to resurrect the bodies of ninjas so they're creating like a zombie a ninja zombie army and then these you know this like group of white guys from a karate club in la go there and stop them and nobody wears condoms, and that's why it's called Raw There's Force. Definitely no condoms. 
See, so I would say cum. let's watch that, but like without previewing it, that sounds like a movie that could have nipples in it. So <laughs> Def, I'm sure the trailer has is full of titties because that's like one of the even on this vi- now now again this is like you know the company putting it out years later being like this is great, but I mean it says on the it's like uh, <laughs> raw force is a virtual smorgasbord of over the top sleaze mixing zombies, cannibals, outrageous action, gore, copious amounts of nudity. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this, this psychopath says oh my god how many times are they going to retell that story what story, the story oh, of... going to an island to fight a cult that's what yeah. I, I said that earlier all that's what all these fucking karate guy uh, where a karate club made a movie in the 80s they were all doing that ninja busters is not ninja busters is a little more unique and uh the thing about ninja busters is it's like you know it's not a well-made movie the fights are good but the two leads in it are this um, Asian American guy and this like other just white dude that definitely who looks like kind of Chuck Norris ish. He's got a mustache, but even though they're just like these two non actors, they're just these karate teacher guys. They have really good chemistry, and the plot of Ninja Busters is they fake knowing karate to get into a karate school to meet women. So the first like 20, 30 minutes of the movie is these two guys who in real life know lots of martial arts pretending they don't because they're playing characters that don't and so they're they're playing characters who don't know karate but are pretending no, to know karate and then they actually train and so in the latter half of the movie now they're trained now they're actually martial artists and they uh, happen upon some ninja plot i forget what that even is but anyways but it's like it's got a lot more uh, kind of heart and a little bit more of uh, a different kind of story than a lot of those it's like because yeah it's one of the few uh, movies like that that's not let's go to an island and kill a cult <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know it. why that became a thing, but like two or three of the ni- American Ninja movies are. Let's go to an island and kill this ninja cult. It's just, it's just what they do. I'm sold on all of it. <laughs> I know, man. No, but Ninja Busters, I just <clears throat> sold myself on watching it again. It's fun. What would you give Furious? Oh yeah, we're supposed to do that. Uh, definitely two points. That was a good trailer. But uh, oh, they're saying because it was fan cut. Hey, I'm fine with the. I wouldn't say fan cut, and I'm fine with it. I mean, it shows a lot of good shit. I'd say t- I'd say two stars or two <clears throat> points, whatever. What'd you do? Two? I, uh, I was thinking two, but like, there's something about it that like I something was off. There, there were just well, maybe it's what you're talking me. about. You know? Um. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I had a lot of that. scenes that I liked. Yeah, <clears throat> but um, I feel I was missing something that put me over the top. Like I was like hype on it. <clears throat> um, but I'm sorry. Um, and that was going to sorry. I fucking scrolled away from it. Um nope, I'm in vampires now. Gotta go back. Uh yeah, there's sorry. a Oh, that was a flange movie. Submissions. No, well that was a, a flange, a flange just submitted it, but it was that was on the later submissions. Who submitted it first? Flange just submitted it on April tenth. Okay, and then did anyone submit it before that? Though? There's my. Well, it did get submitted a bunch. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. I there's a lot of Jim Cotta, and I thought there was a movie called Gun Cotta or something. Gun Cotta but- is the style of gunfighting they developed for the movie Equilibrium. And then he, Kurt Vimmer, the director of Equilibrium, called it Gun Kata, and then also used it in the Mia Jovovich movie Ultraviolet. So that might be where you're hearing Gun Kata from. I love They might have eventually a made movie. a movie called Gun Kata. What's that? Sorry. I, I was like, I, I loved Ultraviolet. I thought that was I've a never great seen movie. It. Oh, maybe oh, I did man. see it on a plane. You know, I saw Ian Flux on a plane. That's like a vampire movie, too, and I don't think anyone submitted that for the vampire Ultraviolet movies. is? Yeah. Huh, interesting. So, um, I kept changing what I'm going to submit. This is my last one before I go, but I feel like sure. since we're ending the Kung Fu saga, I feel like, you know, this one's been submitted, but uh, this is a highly referenced uh, trailer, and it's like one of the linchpins classics of the whole deal. So, yeah, well, I'm going to go out Brody on this. Kid? No. Wu-Tang. I mean, just the, the rap group had something to do with this one. I mean, this the trailer like looks really, yeah. This 
this is a, a remaster. Should we stop this? This is not like a this is like a later trailer for this. Yeah, yeah this doesn't it look still counts. It still counts. Yeah. Okay, all right. It's all right. It looks great. great. To say it what they believe great. in, must they always do what the government says? Oh, this is the trailer for the Blu-ray release. He was a hero. Shaolin techniques could be taught here. The people could use it to fight the Manchu troops. You can always tell when it's like a modern trailer because like the style of trailers has changed. Yeah, I nearly died yeah. getting a shower. I won't leave now. Good trailer. Uh, not fantastic, but a good trailer. Do you want to try and find the original? Yeah, it's probably what th those old ones are probably longer though. But okay, I think I found it. Yeah, baby. Okay, am I challenging it myself? It doesn't yeah. matter. Rabbit hole. There we go. Like the remaster looks dope, but this already is fucking better. Better trailer. Yeah. Music. Earth and Lou, baby. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that previous trailer was for the Dragon Dynasty Blu ray release, which is the only one of this, unfortunately, is what I have. But, you know, I think Dragon Dynasty, I don't know if that was Weinstein's or not, but, you know, it's some American company buying shit and putting it out again, so making these those stupid fake. The Eye Chamber. Fake modern trailers. The Eye Chamber. The Head Chamber. I love it. Do it, man. Yes. <laughs> See, I like how they explain what the chambers are. Yeah. I mean, that, that's what, you know, what, this movie is called Influential, and it is for in a lot of ways about the story and the awesome action and stuff. I mean, there'd already been tons of Shaw Scope and other studios making period kung fu movies like this, but this one was really good. Uh, and the whole the whole training sequence thing that people love in martial arts movies, I mean, this will be like, he goes through all the chambers, you know what I mean? Like, you see him do it all. What's the 36th chamber, then? I can't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> so your asshole shut and keep feeding the chamber? <laughs> what is it? So, so your asshole, asshole shut and keep feeding the chamber? <laughs> Poop chamber. 
There's still a minute and a half of this trailer. What could it possibly be? Oh, yeah, the first time I saw this, it was uh, Dub, and his name is Sante. His character's name. In, in the dub, the way they pronounce it, it, it sounds like Sante. Sante. So it kind of sounds like they're talking to Santa the whole time. Like Santa. You must enter the 36 chamber, Santa. I'm not one of those purists that has to do, like, uh, subtitles only. Absolutely am. Except I wanted to watch it, and the only way they had it was on Netflix with, uh, or no, it was on Prime with, uh, Dub. But I normally like to, the subtitles. So I like the words match the guys, the, the actors' mouths, even when they're not in English. You know? What did Chad give the original trailer for points? I was I don't even gross. I don't even know. Oh, I'm asking Chad. Um, I, would, I was going to give one to that one. It, it looked two. amazing. It looked amazing. But yeah, yeah like, in comparison, I don't think I could do that two points. Before I go, I'm going to uh, make you... So, um, who submitted the first trailer? That was submitted... Oh, God, where did we... Oh, because I, I was helping you look for Fury, so I lost my thing. Hold on. It was okay, down gonna... your ways. Uh, Sh Shaboy the Tom. Oh, Shaboy. Um, while you... So I give it one point, you give it a point, Chuck gave it two points, so it's four That's points four. for Shaboy. I got it. Was this a challenge? No, Timmy... No, it's just me. Watch a better one. We're, that was a little rabbit hole. Um, in the title of the Steam is the website to submit... Tr oh. <laughs> what? Sorry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm reading a comment between two people. It wasn't meant for us. It's up there. Um, oh. You talk. I'm gonna pee, and then I'm gonna I'll go and going. show. I'm gonna yeah, show a trailer. I want to pee before you go because. Can I show a trailer? If, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's then, not for you know, if you leave and then I pee, then there's no one here. <laughs> right. This is not a competition. So okay. So chat. Let me just be uh, pedantic. Uh, pedantic. I don't know. Whatever pedantry. Uh, uh, I love kung fu movies. Are you leaving or are you not leaving? No, no. I'm going to pee. Yeah, go pee. In my toilet. Yeah. Go do it. Did he not? Did he not understand that I understood that he was going to pee in a toilet? Anyways, um, I, I I really love martial arts movies. So if if you if you thought that trailer looked good, that movie is good. If you've seen the movie, yes, it's great. A few years later, they made one that I think is better. Did I show this last time? I don't think I showed this last time. No, I've not seen Drunken Dragon. Tom, what does Pakua theme mean? Did anyone submit Kung Fury? Yeah, I think it's out in there. Panda? No, that would have been a good one. Just like the other animated film that was submitted, Kung Fu Panda is about martial arts, so even though it's animated, I would say it is definitely... Oh, that guy is fucking killed. So is that guy. Kung Fu Hustle? Yeah, we watched that the first one. Oh, two weeks ago. Yeah! Yeah! 
你们为什么下跪？啊？我也要跪！爹！潘梅，刘浪，其子去，刘子还。啊！愤怒！呸！呸！孩子！哦，是，对了。Right, are we good？ 你是不是严重的逃兵？不是。Oh, you're back？ 逃兵。Bam! Someone says that's the face of a man who switched it up and beat the beat the sink. Yes, I think this movie is by many of the same people that did Thirty Six Chamber, but I think this one's better. And the name is definitely. This is called Thirty Seventh Chamber. No, this is called Eight Diagram Pole Fighter. And that's in it. And then they practice on these wolf things they were just showing. That's pretty cool. And there is a moment in the movie where the pole fighters learn a technique for breaking your opponent's teeth. And in the last fight, they use it a lot. And there's a lot of fake teeth, like, being knocked out of people's mouths and stuck in holes and shit. It's awesome. This part, fuck. Yeah, this movie's cool. It's really crazy. Are any of these, like, uh, actors, like, well-known? Yeah, the main guy, who's also the guy at 36 Chambers, Gordon Liu. And he, um, did a ton of kung fu stuff. Uh, Tarantino put him in Kill Bill twice. In the first one, he plays the leader of the Crazy 88. And in the second one, he plays Pai Mei. Super picture, super cast, super presentation. Watch. Fuck yeah, Gordon oh, no. Liu. Um, what was that, that earlier when we watched? Oh, when we the, when we started the show with the uh, flying redo. No, when we started the show with the redo of the Seven Gold Vampires trailer. What they call it? Cinna, or no, I'm sorry. You're right. It was flying guillotine. Good memory. Better than mine. Where they kept calling it Cine, was it Cinevision? In Cinevision, the most amazing special effects. They were saying, was it Cinevision yeah. or Cine? Anyways, it sounded like a delicious cereal. <laughs> what was Hattori Hanzo from? Hattori Hanzo, you mean? Well, I don't know about the character. If that's a reference to something else, but the. Actor playing Hattori Hanzo in the Kill Bill movies is Sonny Chiba, who uh, was in the movie called Street Fighter way before the Street Fighter you think I'm talking about. There's no Blanca. But Wait, do, uh, you, do you have a letterboxed account? Yeah, Timmy you, W. All right, there you go. Somebody I asked just, if you uh, have a list of your favorite martial arts movies. I don't have a list of my favorite martial arts movies, but uh, Letterbox, you can see what I think about lots of martial arts movies. Um, Today I saw The Northman, so I uh, reviewed that. Cinemascope. On my huh? Cinemascope. Not Cinemascope. That's a famous one. The one in oh. Flying Guillotine was something weird. It was like Cine... Uh, it was like... It didn't seem real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Flying Guillotine. Um, before you go, I want to shout oh. out to Hendo for gifting two Tier 1 subs. Oh, and thank you, And Jim929 for also resubscribing. John Cena Vision. John Cena Vision. <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep watching trailers, Timmy. But you don't need Super Cena Vision. Super Cena Vision. Super Cena Vision. Now, are Cinevision? you gonna keep awarding points? Yeah. And what did we give Thirty Six Chambers? Oh, we gave that four. Okay, a total of four. Okay. I feel like watching oh, the second trailer post- tainted me. Which you trailer? Know? Why watching not? the original, like watching the, like I really liked that yeah. first trailer, like the remaster, and it's, it looked amazing, like it looked gorgeous. But you can tell it had that modern trailer theme, like style yeah, to it. Yeah, it just didn't and feel it, right. It, yeah, I feel like some of these trailers that I f- think do it well are these the ones where you know you're right, like like a, when a new production or release studio is like we're gonna make a new trailer, and it's like they're cutting up all the silliest shit. Yeah. I like when they really try to make like an original trailer for that yeah. time period. I think that's like my favorite thing. I agree. Um, thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Um, next time you're on, I will have a creepy animated Timmy face. Uh, <laughs> that's what the I worked on it all day. And I fucked up at, uh, at like the, the. That is what they want. Hey, uh, before really quick before I go, there's a few movies I wanted to list here that were great that I want to try and watch. Furious, um, Force Five. Um, there's another one. All the Karate Kid movies. No, I mean, you know, maybe I'll watch them, but I just, uh, to me, like, okay, to me, Karate Kid is like when you get, like, shitty weed the first time. You're like, this is pretty good, now I'm going to go track down the good stuff. That's what Karate Kid is for, you know what I mean? Like, I want to find the, the kindest buds, which would be, like, a diagram pole fighter, you know what I mean? The kindest, dankest buds. That looked cool. Eight diagram pole fighter looked cool. As shit. What a good name for! I don't really know what it means, but uh, who gives a shit? Oh, American rickshaw. That, that all right? I feel bad because, like, yeah, you're right. That wasn't a kung. It wasn't a martial arts movie, and it did get disqualified. And as someone damn, said, as someone dope. said, slapping a woman doesn't count as martial arts because yes, the only hand to hand combat. In that movie trailer was a guy fucking slapping a lady in the face. Oops. Oh, Fist of the North Star. Hell yeah. Gotta check that out. That looked great. Um, Fist of the I, North Star is. And, and, is and here's my uh, movies from the first time we did this The Perfect Weapon. Remember that trailer? Uh, Kung Fu Cult Masters. Snake in the Eagle Shadow. That was the one where uh, Jackie Chan rips that priest's balls, like, punches the priest in the balls and he dies. And then Red Belt, because you and Sam would not shut the fuck up about it. I'm it's the movie was way better than the trailer. The trailer didn't do it justice. But well, I like mean, Sam, uh, you know, Sam would always talk about the movie Three O'clock High, which is great. And it took me fifteen years of knowing Sam for me to finally sit down and watch the goddamn thing. You know, it's fun for me as Sam's brother. Like when we watch a movie independently of each other, and then like it clicks for both of us. And it's like, yo, have you seen that movie? And it's yeah. like, yes, I love that movie. Um, and that uh, Red Belt was definitely one of those movies. Sure. We were like a mammoth kick, and you know, I think it's one of the more slept on mammoth movies because mammoth yeah. people are like, oh, it's an action movie. But when you there's not like a ton of action. Right. In it, but... It's still a David Mammoth movie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for having me. Whore Town, or uh, no, what's it today? Goobywood? Goobywood, thank you so much. Goobywood's our Sunday game. As someone says, it's a shame there's no available trailer for Fatal Deviation, the only Irish martial arts movie. So Nate was about to show that, but it said fake trailer, but that is a real movie. Should we watch it? On your way I don't out? know. I, no, I gotta go. I gotta go to the bathroom, okay. and I need to go to bed. So I need, right. And I don't want to we'll go to watch the bathroom leave. in bed. It is a low toilet. budget film. So, okay, it is a real movie. So, it's just that the trailer Nate found for it said fake trailer on it. So, we weren't sure. But I just Googled it. It's a real film. All right, we're going to watch it. Cool. All right, everybody, have a good night. Um, I've now streamed three nights in a row and I'm tired. So, I'll be back later. Bye bye. Should I bye. leave the. I'm going to leave this. I'm yeah, going to leave. leave that. Bye, Nate. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. I'm going to watch a few um, more trailers, but we'll yeah, have this fun, will be man. bonus time. We're just going to... Bonus gonna, time? Bonus Who won? Time. What was the trailer that won, then? Oh, you should, let's do trailer of the week, then. Should we do... I guess. Here's the thing. Should we do... Tra- the, the tough thing with trailer of the week right now is, like, ten of them were six-point trailers. Yeah. Um... um Let's see. Did we get any seven point trailers? Uh, I feel like maybe there was one. Yes, there was one, wasn't there? Let me look. I'm not seeing one, but I feel like there was one. Keep watching trailers and vote later. All right, we're going to keep watching trailers then. And vote later. All right. I'm out, Ski 5000. (laughs) All right, Timmy, have a good night. Thank you for coming. You too. Of course, thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, bud. All right, we're going to watch this Irish thing. All right, let me turn Timmy. Boop, boop, boop.
Is it cool if you if I hang out and keep watching trailers? I just saw like a hundred people stopped watching. Any plans to stream soon? Uh yeah, I I'll probably stream during the week. Just been having some crazy midweeks. Try to do a couple days in between, but just get busy. Shit busy. Alright, you guys ready for this Irish trailer? <laughs> Nate will have his thumb on the scale. Well, there's no one here to keep me honest, okay? So uh you're fucked. See, it says fake trailer right there. I'm not paying you to sit around here on your arse smoking. Oh, boss. You made me look bad, and that's not good. Meet me tomorrow that's by dope. the Seven Oaks. Why? Because I'm going to walk with you. <laughs> Why would I want to walk with you, old man? Your father said that the first time I met him. What do you know about my father? Oh, this is real. Love it. He can hear it before it makes a sound. He can sense it before it happens. He can vanish before you realize I wonder if this is like a thing where it's fucking loud. And he's the last person you would ever expect. Expect the unexpected. In keeping with the ancient ways, there are no rules. So the greatest martial artist of all time is Irish. Did you guys see that coming? <laughs> the entire film is free on YouTube. Should we just watch it now? How long is it? <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like they had like one guy in Ireland that like became a black belt, and they were like, "We should do a movie about this guy." <laughs> Welcome back, Seagull. How did it go in Hong Kong? Everything is done. Good. I have another little job for you. Jeez! Change clothes! Listen, I don't want him in this tournament, right? And kill that mad monk. We don't want to look bad in front of Mike. We gotta do our job. Don't be lucky for someone else. Now look here! I don't think the girl needs help across the road. Why don't you boy scouts go and play in the woods? You little... <laughs> my father. Now I want to bring you. But what about Nicola? We'll get her back. You're very brave to be harassing young women. Oh. Oh. He just threw him over a, like a, a, a little wall. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. Why put it in the trailer? Man, that was great, though. Um, <laughs> I thought it was all... I mean, I guess it's a fan-made trailer, but we're still voting on it. Because uh, it was a real movie. Um, I need to look up the fucking context of that. That's so weird. It's a weird thing does. Um, fatal deviation. What did this say next to it? Okay. Ireland's first full-length martial arts film regarded as one of the worst movies ever made. Is this a uh, red letter media trailer? Is that uh, what I'm getting from this? I feel like it might be, huh? <laughs> oh, that is so bizarro. To be clear, yeah, yeah. I love the trailer. I thought it was good. Um, <laughs> he's not even a martial artist, he's a martial arts enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, Punish Danis. Oh man. Um This has never been best on the worst. Oh wow. <laughs> Shit. Shit. 
I feel like we, oh, you know what? Here's the thing: is chat did not like that. Damn. Flinja, did you know about this movie being a Scott? Didn't like it, huh? Man, I thought it was silly as shit. Here's the thing: I think I, being a solo boy, um, get to give it more points. So let me see. Chat gave it two points, so I guess I get to give it like four points. So is that how it works? No. Um, I I do. I will give this two points though, and we'll just assume that. Do I get four points now? No. I, I feel it's a five point trailer, right? I feel it's a five point trailer. Man, I really want to show this to Sam. <laughs> Um, does anyone feel that, that any trailers got robbed tonight? Was there like a seven point trailer that we just missed? What do you think? Um, cause I'd feel bad if, if, if I didn't give something, you know, it's, uh, just, just cause just desserts. Um, you have a good submission. What would Sam say? I think Sam would like it. Yeah, we're making up. I mean, the game's not real, guys. We're we're just having fun. Um, yeah, it's kind of pretty. I, I feel like here's the thing. I feel like Sam generally will pick something out um, towards the end. You know, a lot of times, like the funniest trailer we get, hands down, is like towards the end of the night. And you know, technically, we're still like half an hour away from when we'd finish the show. Um, so. Pick a Christian trailer. I don't know what the Christian trailers are. Happy Sally, finish your project. How did it go tonight? Well, we didn't. We didn't find a, a clear winner. We we didn't get a seven point trailer here. I'm going through. Let me see. Um, it's so much harder to choose by myself because I really look for ridiculous stuff. Oh, all right. We're gonna watch this. Yeah, had a kung fu professional picking all the good movies. That was like the funny thing. It was like Timmy really knows what he's talking about. Oh, why is it muted? Oh. Resistance compromises it. Right, I'm we starting over again. The cleric is the final line of defense. If the resistance compromises it, we are doomed. I started watching this and then I just didn't finish it. It just looked interesting. It looked like a Gattaca Kung Fu movie or some shit. You can't do this. You cannot do this. There's nothing we can't do. It's real. Is he a robot? Oh, he's the ultimate Eric, enforcer. I can only hope one day to be as uncompromising as you. You're a family man. Yes, sir, a boy and a girl. It's the lawful entry. We have a warrant for your wife's arrest. What does wife do? Remember me. To the underground. Do you know why you came? Yes. They trained you your whole life to fight these kind of odds. What can I do? I've heard the most disturbing rumor. Rumor, sir. A rumor maintaining that one of the cleric is actually attempting to contact the resistance. Then you know what I'm gonna do now. Yeah. Preston, give yourself entirely without incident. No. I was like waiting for like any martial art to come in. So far it's like him shooting and he's like moving the sword around but not really hitting anybody. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it cut away as he was about to hit somebody. That's kind of funny, right? Um, 
you don't have a balanced approach. You hated a four minute trailer with good martial arts before the fighting happened because of two story and also penalized a movie that offered action with story peppered in. So, um, yeah, I, I, I uh, agree with you. I just, uh, go with what floats my boat at the time. Um, let me see. I don't know if it's a martial arts movie. I, I would watch it. But it just, it, something felt weird, right? Or were we going to vote on it anyway? Whatever floats by Aldership. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. That was called Equilibrium. It made me think, though, like, um, we've watched a lot of martial arts movies, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> um uh, but a lot of them have been like, you know, Eastern origin martial arts. I feel like we've missed, like, I don't know if we've watched any boxing movies. Um, did we watch any sword fighting movies that were like sword? Like, isn't there a movie with like Eric Roberts? That's like a fencing movie. Um, I guess gun Kata is a new one. We did watch Jim Kata. That was kind of funny. Uh, Let me see. Equilibrium is decent. Wrestling with extra steps. Um, sword fighting as a category would be better. Well, I don't think we watch any boxing movies. It's kind of funny. Did I ever do martial arts as a kid? I feel I did. But we had like self defense, and it was just like when I think back about now, I feel like you know a company just comes in like, hey, we're gonna offer martial arts classes and then like every kid like signs up for it because when i was a kid like ninjas were such the hot shit and it was like this i, I remember i didn't do it very long i was like this is boring as shit I wanted like ninja shit and they wouldn't let us fight each other you know come on sword fighting trailers would be tos oh like sword fighting trailers uh uh uh, uh. Let's see that got a 74% no. So people really didn't like that. Huh. You had a boxing movie on your short list for the sports theme, but not martial arts. List, huh? Hmm. 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 All right. So that one did not get points. Equilibries. Or did it get 74? We got 26 that got one point. Um, I'm not going to give it a point. So I just didn't feel it was martial arty enough for me. Martial arty. Um, uh, let me see, guys. What direction do you want to go in? Do you want to go in more of these kind of kung fu movies? Or do you want to go... <laughs> 160 viewers, 19 votes. That's always how it happens. We really only have regularly like 20 people voting. Um, and I feel like everyone else watching is probably a bot. So thanks, bots. Um, Marshall Artie. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me go through. It's tough for like the newer submitted stuff because we do have a bunch of car movies i fucking i'm psyched for the car stuff um there are really good car movies um some of these have already watched surf ninjas we watched uh right All right every time i see a cool movie i'm like oh this looks cool and then um i feel it's like from somebody we've already watched a trailer for so i feel like is that bad how are there no Ninja Turtle movies? Let me see. I'll, I'll, I'll see. I feel like we have watched it too, but let's go. Um, right. Fucking love this movie. I had this soundtrack on tape. I feel like we have watched the Tree and Ninja Turtles ones in like a different context though, so. Wait, what are you saying Coach McGurk for? The Totsie Twilight. Are you Coach New McGurk? York. 
A city where 8 million can scarf down their slices in safety, knowing that when pizza is close by, help, help is never far away. <laughs> Any luck finding a new place to live yet? Well, you know, Isn't in this market, it's actually very difficult to find good subterranean houses. You think even an idiot could find a place down here? But no! <laughs> wow! And I thought all the really good dungeons were in Europe. I like this one. The past returns, my son. <gasps> hey, guys, look! That's the canister that had the ooze. That transformed us all. Yes. Well, you're the last one, aren't you? Uh-oh. Oh, some animals are knocking down the telephone poles. Let them get their own cab. The next fight will be free against The Queen headquarters is so dumb. Take the ugly dumb. one. No, you take the ugly one. Uh, which one's the ugly one? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Cowabunga! Soundtrack for this one. The Secret of the Ooze. Don't forget, we're turtles! <laughs> Almobs, do you still have that stuff? Almob says, my aunt worked at the studio and sent me the entire production kit that was sent out to the major press and editorial outlets. It was insane shit and felt like having actual treasure. That's dope. Yeah, I saw it in theaters. I, I had the soundtrack, and the soundtrack was rad. We should do one. Uh, if I stream this week, we should do. I stream a lot of like music streams where we'll watch like uh, music videos or live performances. We should do one that's just, you know, soundtracks. Okay. TMNT2. TMNT2. This is hard to do alone. Panel, how did we do it back in the day? There was only like three people watching and uh, we were just watching whatever and there were no points. How did we do it? We just rabbit hole the shit. Actually, when we, before we were like trailer boys, trailer boys and doing it, we would just um, look up, we'd go on IMDb and like look up <laughs> what the people look like now, like any child actors on it and stuff. Vanilla Ice is the reason you love ninjas. <laughs> ah. How many how many t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies are there, you think? I wonder what, like, if they keep making them. Uh, TMNT movies. Oh, yeah. If you still have it, definitely post a picture. Breathe in two? What? Play the third? Six? What? Yeah, I'll, I'll include all the new ones. I bet they're awful. Awful in a good way, though? Um, I don't remember there being a third. In my head, there was just two, and that was it. All right, that gets 79%. Yes, that's three points. Um, we should mess with Sam and choose, like, a real, like, low... <laughs> What's a trailer Sam would hate? That we could say one. And we won't be real. We'll just be like, Sam, this trailer won. And he'll be like, okay. Think of that. Think of that while, while we keep doing this. TMNT2, I liked it. I'm going to give that two points as well. I feel Sam, I feel Sam would give it two points. So that's, that's a seven point trailer. <laughs> okay. Scott nine five one seven five. You have a seven point trailer. Is that how the points work? I feel I'm I'm definitely doing this wrong, right? Totals of time was third. I, I definitely didn't say it. Um. <laughs> oh jeez. 
Oh, you guys want to watch uh, Battleship again? Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah, you know, this is back in the day, too, when, like, there were so many... I mean, they, they still do, like, brand crossovers and stuff, but when the TM Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies came out, man, there was so much brand shit. It was dope. Let's highlight that so I know. All right, what else are we going to watch? Um, somebody submitted Pink Panther. I don't remember that being... All right, somebody's just submitting... Movies without context. Nate, what's your favorite guilty pleasure movie? I don't feel guilty about anything. I'll just watch movies. I try not to watch movies over again, though. There's just too many movies, you know? So once I watch a movie, I'll, I'm done. I don't rewatch a lot of things, I think. If it's on Pluto, and again, we love Pluto TV. If it's on Pluto, I'll, I'll watch something, but... Yeah, Pink Panther may, but I, I feel the person who submitted this submitted a bunch in a row, and they're all like, I, I don't think they gave any context. I don't think they realized we had a theme. A lot of people, times people will submit not knowing that we had the theme. Um, yeah, we need, we're working on a better system, and I was hoping to have it done by like season three, but you know, Flange just crushed so fast that it was hard to catch up. Um, okay. Next up is the we want to try and get something where like a database driven like website where you know you put the stuff in and what you see now is like a contact form like on a website what it does is the contact form exports into a spreadsheet uh, we want to try and get something that has like a database like back end where we can like sort stuff and like you know organize it better uh, but that involves like actual code, you know, so <laughs> uh, I got to learn that and then figure that out. You could stop saying context is optional. The problem is um, people who don't put context down don't get their trailers looked at. So, you know, and then also, you know, it says like try to submit three. Some people will submit like 40. Like, oh, well, white chicks for season three. Oh, man, I'll watch the shit out of it. I'll watch the shit out of some white chicks. Alright. 1997. To hang with us, you gotta be initiated. One day, one ordinary kid will be transported. Come on! To an extraordinary world beyond the boundaries. That seems dangerous. If you were his friend, you'd be like, don't do this. Problematic week. <laughs> Cool. In this new this world, girl. welcome to the other side. What the You're fuck? Really a newcomer? Ruled by fear. I want him alive! Go! Houston, we have a problem. He is the last hope to bring together five oh, legendary the warriors. How's it going? Oh, the warriors. He is often no. a bit cranky. There we go. Who use the forces of nature as their weapons. Wood. Fire. Earth, metal, Heart? and water. Now, the battle against the ultimate evil. The answer lies with you. Is about to begin. Come out and play. Who's that guy? Touchdown. Bye -bye. Is that action figures for this? I can't leave them. They need me here. You are invited to enter a remarkable world. Yes! Rock and roll! Where nature is your weapon, but you are the ultimate warrior. It's called the ultimate warrior. Warriors of Virtue. <laughs> what a garbage title. <laughs> oh my god, that is fucking weird. Were those supposed to be like one of those looked like a water buffalo, but I don't know what the main guys were. Warriors of Virtue. I don't remember that at all. I guess that came out in '97. I mean, 
I've been smoking a lot of weed in 97, so. Oh, kangaroos. Interesting. Interesting. Was that the kid from Princess Bride? No. Oh, kid from Princess Bride was uh, Fred Savage. He would have been like 30 by then or something, right? Yeah, Worries of Virtue is not a great name for that. I do. One of the things I do love, though, is like when a movie is made and they put a lot of focus in like the future of the franchise, you know, and they're like, we're going to have fucking toys. We're going to do all this shit, you know, and then it just doesn't go anywhere. And they're like, oh, well. You know, like they, they, it, it's not all the time, but you'll see it like in this, uh, 90s era where like there were so many toys. Like now I feel I don't see as many toy commercials and stuff. Um, everything's video games and shit too. But like back in the, in the 90s, you would have movies that were just planning like a full onslaught of toys and shit. And, um, it was always funny to me when it never worked out. No, wow, that got one point from chat. Shit. Shit. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give that two points because it's silly as shit. You know? I don't know what Sam would give it. Chad is simping for Brad Dorif. Which one was Brad Dorif? Did I miss him? I don't know. The roof? Tell tell Sam that one. No, we gotta find something that somebody somebody give me an idea for something that's super garbage. That should have gotten more from chat. Yeah, chat did not like that. Chat did not like that, Scott, Ryan Scott Atkins. And that was your trailer. So uh let's say we'll say four. We'll say same give that a point. Um House of Dead is garbage. Yeah, but is there any kung fu in House of Dead? Sam definitely would have wondered to end it. I don't know. I don't know. I miss Sam, guys. Um, the show, I mean, you guys are super fun. But, you know, Sam's a professional comedian. He makes me laugh. There's bullet time in House of the Dead. Um, let's see. Uh, la 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 la. Okay. It's funny because I can see like when um, we watched, you know, like people are submitting trailers now coming in order. So I can see like right when we watched, I'm assuming, right when we watched Fist of the North Star, all of a sudden a shit ton of like anime got submitted all at once, like during the show. Um, it's so hard to go through all the stuff that's not car shit. That's cars. We really fucked us up. This one has no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what what was the theme for for Dead or Alive? I forget that. Did we watch that during? Martial arts, or was that something else? That was a fucking hilarious trailer. That was fucking crazy shit. Um, oh, video game movies. Shit, man, that was fun. Dead or Alive. I have, I have an awful memory. Was video game trailers that long ago? Um, time is weird, guys. Is there a Tekken movie? If, if there's a Tekken movie, somebody submit that, like a live action. Um, okay. Oh, you know, there's a bunch of vampire movies I want to watch, but I won't. Keep being like, oh, that looks dope. Oh, it's a vampire movie. All right. Oh, okay. Here. This got submitted a couple times. I'm not sure what the trailer is, but I do like this movie. Don't think we watched it. We need trailers for video games. I thought we did do a video game one. Do we not do video games? It was at the dawn of the Age of Reason you guys hear this? I can't hear that this. first appeared the beast upon the county of Gévaudan. Possessed with enormous strength, oh, you can't it would hear. strike without warning. 
disappear without a trace. When all hope seemed lost. The king sent two men. That's why it's double giant thing to unravel the mystery. What they uncovered was a world of deception and a struggle for power that was far more dangerous than anything they could have imagined. I mean, there's martial arts in it, yeah. It's like, this, this, this part is fucking awesome, but it's like the very beginning of the movie. Universal Pictures and Studio Canal proudly present to American audiences the French motion picture sensation. Brother, I mean, there is a lot of fighting in it that didn't end up in the fucking trailer. What is that dude from? Oh, he's Iron Chef. Good call. I think I owned this movie at one point. I think someone said Sam's giving birth. No, Sam's at a funeral. Oh, I don't think he's in. I, 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 even if he comes back, I don't think he's going to be in the best. Like, hey, let's do trailers, movies, or, or, or you know, stuff. So, um, sorry to be a bummer. Um, all right. we're voting for Brotherhood of the Wolf. Here's my thoughts. Uh, the trailer looked cool enough for me to watch, and there's a ton of stuff in the movie that's not in the trailer that I'm surprised they didn't put in. But, um, I would watch it, but uh. I just don't think there's enough kicky fighty in it, you know. So I would want. I'm gonna give it a point because um, that one scene is is pretty rad. This is not the all night special. Timmy was here, but he had to go to bed. He also wanted to start late too. So I feel like we couldn't like cut the show short. This is gonna be a very bad YouTube VOD. So if you're watching this on YouTube VOD, if you're one of the 10, 20 people that watch this, I'm sorry. Uh, leave a comment that you got this far <laughs> and I'll see you never. Um, uh, well, I get 62%. Yes. It's good if you haven't seen it, but, um, and there is more fighting in it than the trailer leads you to believe. So it's kind of funny. Um, I don't think Sam would like that movie. A uh, trailer. I don't think Sam would like the trailer. So, Say you guys give two points, I give one point. That's going to be three points. This is just me assuming stuff. I'm we're gonna have Sam <laughs> review these, and he'll be like, No, uh, all right, Brotherhood of the Wolf was beans. Uh, two, three, oh, three, the show has been great, yeah. It's <laughs> it's it's way more fun when, when Sam's here. Sorry, um. It's funny. <laughs> you love how fast we're cooking. Do you guys remember we did like a lightning round in like season one where we were just trying to get through. And I just remember like we got through a lot of trailers because we were fucking around. But at the same time, it's like when we're just burning through trailers, it's not as fun. <laughs> yeah, I'll do a double dragon myself. Beans already up points. At this point, like a lot of people who've submitted have already have already been on here. So um uh, 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 there's a ton of like, I Sam and I do it different. When I am looking at trailers, I've mentioned this before. Like, I just don't even see the names. I just want to focus on cool shit. Um, um. We'll see if anyone else submitted that, but I don't know if they did. I think that was the only one. But, you know. We, we'll figure out the points. Hit up the Discord if you're interested in talking some Trailer Boys shop. 
It is an ancient art. When you go into competition, you carry three things. Your mask, your sword, and my reputation. Do them all justice. Where cunning means more than strength. Use your brain against his passion. Precision That's means slow more from than power. Paris Bueller. Where a good fencer was. When'd you quit? There was no one left to beat. One, two, three, four. That will transform these students into champions. You care too much about being the best. I am the best. The fence with the most wins and the fewest losses is the champion and will be my representative at the Nationals. You look good with a sword. How about your hand? It will change these friends. So you admit, there's an attraction here between us. Into lovers. You offer the promise of brilliance. But you think too much about other people. It will turn these strangers. The story about your father isn't right. Into enemies. It was a game to him. And the one moment when it wasn't a game, we lost. You admire the man who killed your father. I admire best. If you are who I think you are, this is like this when is Eric Roberts was in there. Now is the time of triumph, the age of romance, and the moment of truth. F. Mary Abraham, Eric Roberts, by the sword. By the sword. That looked dope. <laughs> By the sword. I feel like, um, and this is ninety four. There, there was a time where every like subculture or niche thing had its own movie. You know, there was By the Sword. There was um, what was that figure skating movie where the guy was like a hockey player and he like hurt his knee and he couldn't play hockey, so he became a figure skater. Cutting Edge. Uh, this feels like very cutting edge. Um, then there were like a few skydiver movies, you know, uh, like uh, I'm trying to think. There, um, no, cutting edge was great. Topic. Yeah. <laughs> Free to play squid. Thank you very much. Topic. Cool runnings. Cool runnings is based on true story. It's like a yeah, bobsled movie. Uh, uh, even, you know, like uh, uh Days of Thunder, which I've I've actually rewatched Days of Thunder. It was just on, and I was like, "I'll watch this," and I was like, "I could not believe how good that movie was." Um, and and then after watching Days of Thunder, you're like, "Oh, Talladega Nights!" Not only is like another, it's not like just another NASCAR movie, but the story is the same, um, loosely. You know, like it's very funny. So I'm like, "Oh, are, are they just like if if." Um, Cutting Edge inspired Blades of Glory. Then this obviously inspired Talladega Nights. And I'm like, I wonder what other movies they were were doing. Mighty Ducks. Well, that's like a sports movies, like hockey movies. I feel are not as niche, but like some of these things are really. Um, I, I'm 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 bummed out they never did like a downhill slalom. You know, remember that was like in the early X Games. It was like. You had all these mega sports, and one of them was like the dudes on the downhill skates. I think we've talked about it before, and the only movie I've ever seen that in was um, the Rollerball remake in the very beginning. Niche sports, yeah. Um, that got 61%, yes. Two points. I love that. I'll give that two points. Um, I think Stan would give that 11 points. I'm going to just say it's good. Um, Mighty Ducks was the underdog one story. Yeah, Mighty Ducks was like a classic one. What are some other good X Games movies? Although I know we're we're watching martial arts movies. Sword fighting is is that a martial art? Does that count? Gleaming the Cube. That was tight. I fucking you know what's crazy is Gleaming the Cube. I've seen on TV. You know how they have like TV edits. And it was called A Brother's Justice instead of Gleaming the Cube. And I always thought that was odd. You fenced for 10 years, you'd argue it was a martial art. Yeah, I guess. I'll try and climb back on the rails at this point. <laughs> True. Um, 
What movie can we say won Best Martial Arts Movie? That would make Timmy's head explode, but Sam be confused. Uh, Shaolin Drunkard? Planja, of those movies you just listed, what would be the best trailer to watch? You and your father watched Soldier Boy last night? Is that a movie? Equilibrium? The only trailers you want to watch can't be viewed or even named to TOS. Ah, okay. I think Sam would want, like Fist of the North Star. Like, again, we're only, like, this many years apart. So, you know, that was also, like, skateboarding, getting high, watching Fist of the North Star. Somebody find me, like, a movie that has, like, ninja in the title, but there's, like, no fighting in it. <laughs> only the Strong? What's Only the Strong? All right. Let's, let's look up Only the Strong. Um, uh, we are getting into dangerous territory. Hope this is not TOS. Let's go. Darwin's theory, natural selection, a general description. Anybody? How about I naturally select to walk out of this boring classroom? The kids of Lincoln High had no discipline. You must think I'm playing, punk. No respect. Teach him a lesson, man! No one to look up to. You had a job you were supposed to do last night. Until one of their own was crazy enough to take them on. Mr. Lewis Stevens, former graduate of Lincoln High. Oh, he must be a loser then. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Drop the bags, drop your skateboard, drop your pants. <laughs> He's taking the kids everyone has given up on. Man, you don't know nothing about anybody here. And giving them something to believe in. You! I want you to turn that music up. I said, turn it up! I like that. The capoeira, everything starts out with the jingo. It's pretty funny, doesn't it? It's the basis for moves like this. And this. You ready to try this yet? He's earning something no one knew they had. Respect. You have a name? Donovan. I'll see you tomorrow, Donovan. Okay. And if we don't start trusting them, why should they start trusting us? This world can be about as big as you ever want it to be, showing you some choices. I was gonna say we should find a movie that's like not it's like a dancing movie. They're changing that their has lives. like a fight. Like a... I like to think you're better than that. One way or another, you're getting in that car. I'm not your slave. Changing each other. These were the 12 worst kids at Lincoln, the absolute bottom of the heap. Look at what he's done with them. And changing their world. You did something none of us professionals been able to do. You got their attention. <laughs> Only the strong. Hey, you're that guy from Lincoln High School. Yes, sir. And these are my kids. They're taking the challenge of their lives and turning it into the triumph of a lifetime. Oh, my God. From the creator of Bloodsport. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ninja cheerleaders, I think it's perfect for your criteria. Uh, we'll watch it, but I think this might have won. Uh, who, who mentioned this? Uh... I have to look up. Only the strong away stork away. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? Good. How are you? You're on. You're on uh, speakerphone. You're on the stream. On the stream. Let's go. Stream going. Uh, it's going pretty good. Um, we. I think we might have found the winner. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it better than... What, what won before? It wasn't Seven... Seven Brothers. What Sister Sensei won before. Oh, no, no. Sister Sensei was what inspired that. Oh. Hold on, chat. What won the, the Kung Fu movies? 
Crippled Masters. Thanks, Lobaka. Crippled Masters. Yeah. Okay, do you think the new one's better than Crippled Masters? I don't know, chat, do we think? Yeah, chat's, chat's pretty into it. Okay. Uh, well, we'll have to watch that next week. I mean, if that is the winner. I mean, if, if yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Timmy, Timmy abandoned me. He said he had to go to bed. So we only got that. <laughs> we started late and, and he tapped out early. So I've, uh, the wheels have fallen off. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm guessing on, on your points. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, your point, you? What's up? You could just have double the points. Yeah, we felt that wasn't fair. Well, you could, or you could just score on a scale of one to, to five. Yeah, that would have been smart. <laughs> um, yeah. Where are you at? Are you close to home at all? I'm, I'm getting there. All right. Well, you know, if you want to jump on and watch this trailer, it could be the winner. We've got a few more to watch. Uh, understood. Understood. Yeah, they can hear you. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Having to delay. I go to the big memorial and um, it was fascinating. Um, yeah. Uh, also, if anyone wants to take my sketch class uh, or find out info about it, you can email me at samwkkclass at gmail.com. Okay. Oh, they can't really hear you. Sorry. Oh, they can't really hear me. Oh. I thought they could hear you, but maybe it's because, you know what, I have a filter on my microphone, so maybe if I'm not talking, then they can't hear you. Oh. Uh, can you plug my class? Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to take sketch classes from Sam, uh, people really like them. It's samwkukclass at gmail.com. Nightbot plugged it. Hey, thanks, Sagumist. Um, yeah, it got plugged. Uh, and and uh, I'll see everyone next week for cars. Cars. Press cars. Automobile. Uh, a motorcycle is an automobile, right? Yeah. Yeah, automobile. I think that's the category is automobiles. Yeah, automobiles. Automobiles. Oh, you know what we should watch? Uh, also, if, if it, it's six minutes long, it's not a trailer, but there is this video that's, I think he, you have it, that's uh, a little like DVD extra for Too Fast, Too Furious. That's the prologue to Too Fast, Too Furious. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should watch that. It was, like, cut yeah. out. Yeah, it was, like, stuff cut out, made into, like, this really little, like, shitty video that I think went on the DVDs. Yeah, I have that. I have that. So, uh, that could be a fun thing to watch, but, yeah, all right. Cool. Cool. All right, uh, chat misses you. I miss chat. And uh, yeah, we're excited to show you the winner. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see. I think I should see it next week. Thank you so much, Goobywood. Timmy oh. did a great job. He's very, he took it very seriously. And I don't think he enjoyed that I was picking like the next karate kid with Hillary Swank. And he was picking like only real hard uh, martial arts movies. <laughs> In his defense, it is his show. So. True, 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 true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Love you, buddy. Love you. Bye. How, how, how was your birthday? Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, yeah. Uh,
Well, see, he seemed in, in good spirits, so that's good, right? Um, man, this trailer is silly as shit, though. <laughs> um... I do want to see if there's like a dance movie with fighting. <laughs> Are we voting on it? Oh, do we? Uh, yeah, sure. Fuck it. Let's vote on it. What was it called? Only the strong. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. <laughs> Uh, it's funny that you picked that to be like something that Sam would be like, what the fuck? But at the same time, like, I'm genuinely like, I love this movie. But again, you guys know I like fucking garbage. Almobs, you submitted this? Only the strong? Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Um... <clears throat> Let me see. Sorry. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Alm Obes did submit this on April 10th. Okay. Okay. Man. The part where he's just like, turn that shit up. Like... <laughs> That fucking, like, did it. Uh, I was like, holy shit. 82%, so it's three points. <laughs> I want <wanted, all> right. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I feel like we can generally say that one then, right? You know, like... Um... <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I'm sorry. That movie is so garbage. I am loving it. Um, holy crap. Right? I mean, that was fun. That was funny. All right? Does it get better than that? Solo Double Dragon is the best. <laughs> Happy Nart. Happy End Day Nart. Yeah, Nart. Um... <laughs> Funny shit, guys. Well, it was good hanging out. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Um, sorry I talked on, went off. I did a lot about myself tonight, huh? We should do, we should do a deep voice. I wonder, oh, maybe, maybe get Sam to take over Newsboys and check and just be like, you're not a Newsboy. That'd be funny, right? Yeah. Convince Sam to start doing Newsboys. How about that? How about we start doing that? Do, do, do.